who we think we going who's going to win which battle, and then we going to get to the fans, let, get their opinions and everything, because I know they got opinions on this. All right, so we're going to go into um, we're going to get right into it. Let's let's start off with the female battle. Let's start off, let's start uh-huh. with the female battle, and let's start off with um, we got Miss Hasu versus Young Gaddis. Uh, who you got um, winning this battle, Jesse? Damn, this is a good battle. Um, I, I'm going to say Hustle because she knows the URL crowd. I think Gaddis may win bar for bar, but overall performance and everything and angles, I'm going to give it to Hustle 2-1. Two, two Hustle 2-1? Okay. Yeah. All right. Now... Me uh, again. I'm, I'm, you know, I, I'm put a disclaimer out there. Like I do it all my predictions. I, I've got this. I'm, I'm picking in the room. I'm picking in the room right now. I'm not picking on footage. But um, so I, I gotta clarify that. But in the room, in the room, I think Young Gaddis is going to win this battle. And my reasons behind, I, reason why I think Young Gaddis is going to win this in the room because Young Gaddis cracked a lot of jokes in the middle of her battling and that's going to get a lot of reaction from the crowd because she's going to, I don't know, she's going to say some funny shit that's going to get a lot of reaction from the crowd and I think she's going to kind of win them over because she hits people with funny bars and, and hard hitting bars at the same time. Hustle is pretty much just hard hitting bars. She doesn't, she doesn't, she doesn't really go for the, you know, entertainment factor. She's pretty much straight forward street hard in your face type bars or whatever so like and that that that's going to translate better on footage than it is actually going to do in the room so in the room i think young gad is going to win on footage i think it's going to be a whole lot closer and i um i think it's going to be real debatable on footage but in the room i think gad is going to win 2-1 all right well all right so what's the next battle all right next battle let's see which, which battle should we talk about next let's go with uh I, I'm, let's get this one out the way because I already know. I'm real interested. In, matter of fact, you know what? No, we're going to wait for that. Good Day Bird. We're going to go Good Day Bird right now. Good Day Bird. Good Day Bird. They already this won This is an interesting battle block. for Jesse to pick. It's a couple of interesting battles I want to hear what Jesse got to say, and this is one of them. Good Day Bird, Jesse. Who you got? Um, Good Day Bird, well, they, they, I, shout out to them to do, for the, doing the best promotion for Gnome with the blog they did. Shit's like yes, terrible. Yes. Yeah. me insane. So, mm-hmm. shout out to them doing what battle rappers are not supposed to do, but getting us no, they, interested no, in that fight. No, that's what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to, they supposed to promote the fight. They're supposed to promote yeah. the fight. That's what they're supposed to do. You, you, you was right the first time. Yeah, all right. So, shout out to them for that. So, both of them, I, I um, commend them for that. Now, on the battle, um, so hard, yo, because I think Verb is better than Goods. But goods in New York is, but it's just like the first blog was so funny, because it's mm. like goods would be like, yo, look at your boots, and take a swig of his fantasy, and the crowd just starts going crazy. <laughs> um, verb, verb two one. Not sure about it in the room, but I'm how I would feel afterwards, and I think on video is going to be. I'm I'm thinking I would pick Verb two one after the battle's over, and on video it's going to be two one. I don't know about the room. I think Goods should win the room because they hate Verb, and Goods has extra power in that room. So Goods on room. Um, my personal opinion, I feel that I think I'm going to think Verb one, and I think that YouTube fans are going to think Verb one. Um, I I actually agree with you. I I it, I can't go against Verb right now. Like I said the other night, I can't go against Verb. Even though I think Goods is gonna do better than a lot of people think he's gonna do, I um I can't go against Verb right now. Verb is on a killing spree. Verb is on a killing spree. I can't I can't go against Verb right now until a motherfucker beat him. A motherfucker gonna have to beat Verb in order for me to pick against Verb right now because he's, no, he's, he's not he's not on a no he um. He choked kill in, in the caustic battle. Well, they didn't choke. He, he threw up or something. Yeah. 
in the, in the middle of the round. So I don't I don't know about a killing spree. I'm, the, I, I'm thinking Bird's on top of his game. I I I think Bird's on top of his game. It's, it's hard for me to pick against Bird right now. It really is. And um, and you know I fucks with Goods. I, I and I think Goods gonna do a lot better than people get credit for. I don't think it's gonna be no body bag or nothing like that. The Goods never got bodied, and I don't think it's gonna happen this weekend either. Um, so yeah, I, but I I definitely I I got Bird winning two one. I got Bird winning two one. It, it, I yep. think I think it's going to be closer in the room than on footage. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, I would agree with that. All What's right. the next one? Let's see. Let's go. Um, let's see. Uh, let all right. Let's let's go. DNA ill will. <clears throat> um. Well, hold on. Let me think about because DNA, you know. Gave gave Prez not an ass whooping, but I thought he, he won for real. He gave him the business. He, <laughs> he gave him the. Oh. I thought, I thought he gave him the. Yeah, it uh, almost it he, almost he, came he, across but, like he's son Perez. It was kind of fucked up. Come on, man. To me, like to me, ill will is not. Did you say ill will versus snow? The BG yeah. Joint? Okay. Um. What did did you think that ill will spat? I mean, he won. He deserved the 10 Gs, no doubt. Do you think he spazzed the way people were making it out to be? I thought he did good. I, I thought he did good. I don't think it was the right. best ill will, I don't, I don't but I don't think it was the best ill will, but I thought he did good. I, I think he's going to do better at Nome than he did there. Okay, to me, he, he um, put it with the snow battle, like, he, he, he used the black-white angle way too much. He, I mean, he beat snow, yes. But mm. he, he used that, that angle way too much for my liking. Um, mm. I, I, it will. I don't know. I mean, I I thought him versus Tay Rock was good, but I, I gave Tay Rock that win. I don't think it will is as crazy as people make him out to be. Everybody's like, oh, DNA's going to get killed. DNA's going to get killed. DNA does this, but the, the issue with I have with DNA is the oversaturation issue. Um, I don't think he did his thing against Prez. Uh, this one's literally a coin toss for me, so I'm gonna say I'm gonna say DNA two one. In the room on footage or both? Uh both. Both. I I don't I don't think any of them are gonna have an advantage in the room. DNA actually has pretty good crowd control. Niggas could go in there not wanting him to win, and you know look get at uh, him versus Chilla, and then they get caught yeah, up in yeah. DNA, especially when mm -hmm. he starts freestyling. <laughs> you yeah. You know. I'll let a famous star be there and DNA take his name and use it, you know. Um, I I think I, this battle is going to be really close in the room. In the room, yeah. I think it, I think I think after this battle is all said and done in the room, you're going to have half people saying DNA won and the other half saying Ill Will won, and they're going to be arguing with each other about who they thought won and everything else. I think it's going to be real debatable um, in the room. Um, on footage, um. I don't know. It will usually always has that one round where he just goes berserk, where he just goes berserk and just, like, almost makes you forget about all the rest of the rounds of the battle. Like, real talk. Like, he's done he, – he's done stole – I've seen him steal a battle with a lot of Zay like that, like just straight stole the battle because of that classic third round he had. Like, the, the first two rounds was just, eh, and that third round was crazy, by far the best round of that battle. And it ended up winning them that it ended up winning them that round in, in the tournament. Ultimately, he won the UFF. Like it, um, he always has that one round where he just goes crazy. I and DNA, like you said, he has good crowd control, and that's why I think it's going to be real debatable in the room. Oh God, um, I think Ill Will is going to um, win this two one. It's I think a tough it one, right? It's a, it's a coin toss. This one's a yeah. coin toss, yeah. It's a coin, yeah, because I think DNA is going to do better than a lot of people think. Like, it, and and um, again, I'm judging this off footage because in the in the room, I th like you said, I think it's going to be a coin toss. But on footage, I think the will is going to win on footage when it when the battle ultimately drops. Um, all right, let's see. Let's go. Uh, uh, I want to save this battle, but no, I'm not. Let's get right into it. Everybody wants to know Jesse's two favorite MCs 
battle rap MC in this culture of all times is about to face off against each other. And everybody wants to know who Jesse Regan is going to pick for this classic battle matchup, in his, the ultimate matchup in Jesse's eyes, <laughs> Cortez versus T-Rex. Now, Jesse's been Stop. wanting this battle to go down for about five years. Now, this battle is finally going down. Your two all-time favorites in this culture, we ain't counting industry, we talking about the culture, your two all-time favorites. <laughs> Dalma da versus the Puerto Rican, right? I don't know. I'm yeah. both of them. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Uh, freaking, yo, I was actually talking about this battle today. I, 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 I'm gonna make my. I know I haven't made a decision yet, but I'm gonna make it today. Um, I was actually talking about this battle today, and you know, I I realized something that I I think is going to come into uh, to effect here. Um, I do think Tez is going to bring his A game. I think Rex mm -hmm. is going to bring his A game. I think I mm -hmm. think this battle is going to be again. I would have liked to see it three years ago, but I still think this battle is going to be hot still. Um, what you call it? So Tez likes the personal angle. I, I was talking about it. You know, he used it. Hollahan. He that's he's been his, using that's one it of his strengths. That's, that's one, one of his strengths. Strength. That's what he likes to do. He likes to take but, the personal angles. Yeah. So, but you know, Rex has been proven already. You say the personal shit against Rex. I mean, unless you do it the way O Red did, which was great. But, you know, the personal shit with Rex is kind of like, what can you say that hasn't been said? Like, oh, you got robbed at 90th Street. Like, okay, yeah, we know that. And I think that's where Tez is going to get caught up in, and that nobody's really going to really like that. So his third round killer, I don't think is going to be a killer because we heard it all already going at Rex. So I'm picking Rex 2-1 in this battle. Rex 2-1. Right. I'm going to... Because of that, because of the personal angle, I don't think it's going to work. I'm going to... You know what? I'm going to surprise you, Jesse. I'm going to surprise you. You going with Tez? I think Cortez... Is, I think Cortez has been wanting this battle for so long, and I think he got yeah. so many bars on deck and because of what I've heard went down on the other shit, I think Tez is probably Tez, I think Tez is going to be more prepared for this battle than he's been prepared for any other battle he's been prepared for, maybe ever. What, what I, do you I, mean? I, what you heard? What went down on the other shit? Well, on the show, on the reality show. Oh, 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 oh yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. So, yeah. So, so, um, like, so, I, I, you know. I think this battle is going to be real debatable at the end of the day. But I think Rex is going to definitely win in the room because Rex just Rex just connects with the with the fans a whole lot more than Cortez does as far as, like, when he's on stage spitting. But I think when the footage drops, I think this battle is going to be very close, son. I think this battle is going to be really close. I think a lot, I think a lot of people are going to watch this battle at the end of the day and say, yo, Cortez either won. Oh, oh, Cortez did his thing and made it debatable. Like motherfuckers, are going, I think motherfuckers are going to be arguing back and forth about who won this battle when it when the footage drops. I think I, in the room, I think Rex is going to definitely win in the room. I don't think, I, I just don't think Rex is going to lose in the room. But yeah, yeah Rex is hard I think this battle is going to be real debatable when it comes out. Yeah. Um, just because, again, just because I think Cortez has been prepping for this battle for so long. But so, and I and I don't think Rex prepped for this battle as much as Cortez did, because I I don't think Rex cares as much about this battle as Cortez does. So I don't think he prepped his heart. I I think he, I think Rex is gonna go in ready because Rex always comes in ready with something. Like honestly, I tried. To, somebody asked me this before, and I can't I can't remember. I can't think of a time Rex choked. Can you think of a time Rex ever choked? Rex, Rex never can't. choked. Rex always talks about that. Yeah, I, I can't Rex think of a time Rex ever. Rex, so Rex is always prepared, but I just don't think he's. I don't think he's going to be as enthusiastic writing these bars as Cortez is. Cortez is looking at this like this is like this is this is Cortez's first really big main stage battle on URL. Like you, like this at uh, uh, this type of stage. Like you know, he battled SOBs and everything else. That's a decent crowd and all that and everything. But this is the first time he's been on this this type of 
um, you know, this type of plateau uh, that this, you know, at this stage, like, yeah, yeah. So he's going to be he's going to be excited, ready to go. I hope he don't get too excited to where, you know, sometimes, you you know, yeah, adrenaline is pumping too much and you fuck yeah. around and fuck up because, you know, you get overly excited. But, yeah, I, I think this yeah, guy is going to be a lot closer. I mean, these two have been <laughs> these two have been going at it for years, man. <laughs> like yeah. ever since Rex took his math on the first stage, like Rex took his shot at Taz, and mm -hmm. Taz did blogs at him. I mean, they've been going back and forth so long. It's like, yo, it's about time, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah. Let, let's see, let's step in that ring and let's see. So but I um, think it's a sleeper battle, though. I think I do think it's a sleeper battle. I think people are going to be more pleased with this battle after this all said and done than they was going into the battle, or whatever. So um, yeah. Well, no, yeah, I think people are excited for this battle. Come I don't on. know. I don't know how many people is actually excited about this battle. I know people are excited about some of the battles. I don't really hear a whole lot of people besides yourself really, really like you know talk about this battle out of all the battles that's on the card. Um. You know, I heard a few. You know, a few people get into it, but most of most of the conversation has been around the other battles. Um, let's yeah. see. Let's yeah. let's go. Uh, all right, now it's time to start playing around. Let's get it. Let's get I to. Got, I got Rex and you got Taz. Yeah, let's <laughs> let's get to two of the battles that's been getting some of the most talk about this card. Let's get into um, see B Magic and Big T. Battle of the night. I a lot of people be. is predicting this to be battle at night. A lot of people feel like, you know, this is like going to be, it's got classic written all over it. You know what I'm saying? You know, you got two bar heavy Midwest dudes about to step in that ring and, and you know, do their thing. Try to, you know what I mean? Try to take the next motherfucker out. And, like, if both of these motherfuckers are on top of their game, this definitely should be a classic. This, it sh it, I don't see no reason why it shouldn't be a classic other than, you know, they just did, wasn't on top of their shit. Um, I watched um, I watched Big B Magic versus Rum Nitty today. That shit was crazy. Um, you know, B Magic did choke a little. I think they edited how much he choked. Like I said, I heard that they edited how much he choked. But they do have a little choke in there in the third. And, you know, a stumble. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, he, he gets back on track, though. But... To me, like, it was crazy battle. It was a bar fest. But to me, B-Magic won 2-1, hands down. Like, B-Magic's like, B bars are crazy. Like, it's like, damn, like, he's, he's never ending. Never ending with those yeah. punchlines. Um, yeah. I think Big T has something to prove, especially after the Big Cannon performance. I know for a I fact agree. that he's ups upset about it. You know? I agree. Yeah. I think Big T is going to... I think he's on the 3-0 magic. I'm picking the 3-0. You think Big T's on 3-0? I, I, yeah. nah, yeah. <laughs> that ain't happening. Yes, I do. <laughs> I would tell you right now, that ain't happening. I, that's not happening. Even if Big T wins, I don't see it being a 3-0 at all. I, I, nah, that's just not going to happen, son. I think you underestimate how much motherfuckers in New York fuck with B-Magic. Matter of fact, you no, should yo, because you've seen it. You've seen it for yourself. No, Magic is crazy. Magic is crazy, punch after punch. People I just know love Big T's coming. Magic up here. I know Big people, T wants to come with three rounds of I ain't talking people, bunny ears when I hold this piece behind his head. I yeah, think but, Big T's going to come three rounds full of that shit. I really do. I, 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 think, I, Big know gonna come, I think Big T is going to come spitting, spitting his shit. I think he's gonna come spitting his shit, but I don't know what makes you think Magic ain't gonna come spitting his his shit. And my point is, like, New York fucks with both of them. New York fucks with both of them, but they really fuck with Magic, son. Like in the room, in the room, I think B Magic is gonna win in the room. I think I okay. think Big T is gonna have to. I think Big T is gonna have to wait for the footage to come out in order Man, who to try to win on footage. Battle. Now, on footage, I think it's going to be a different battle. I think it's going to be a different battle. But in the room, I see, like, I've seen how the city fucks with B-Magic, and they love B-Magic, son. Like, they love B-Magic. Like, I ain't even got to tell you. You've seen it for yourself. Like, they, they fuck with B-Magic heavy. And um, I think, 
I, I think B Magic is just going. I think B Magic is going to just do what he normally do, and he's just going to just keep punching. B. He's just going to keep jabbing Big T to death. He's just going to keep jabbing him, hit him with a few haymakers in, in here and there, and he's just going to keep jabbing him, jabbing him, haymaker, jabbing him, jab. And I, 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 I think ultimately in the room he's going to win. Now footage, when the footage drops, I think Big T is going to have more people on his side as far as, like, you know, judging who they think won or lost or whatever. Because on footage, Big T comes across a whole lot better on footage than he does in the room. Uh, he, he's he's much right. more I of a... Think, I think Big T 3-0. That, that's my first 3-0 of the night. So. Ooh, boy, that's nobody, a bold prediction nobody, to say B-Magic going to get 3-0. That's a bold nobody prediction. Predicts three, nobody predicts 3-0. You, you do. You <laughs> no, Obviously, I know. you do. <laughs> I know. That's what I'm saying. People are, like, too scared to predict 3-0. If you think somebody's going 3-0, somebody predict it. If you think somebody won 3-0, say it. I, I, I well, I'll say it's somebody. It's I'll say it's somebody one three it's down third, but to actually predict it. That means you just like you think the other person ain't got a shot in hell. To predict the three zero, that's that's like saying the motherfucker ain't got a shot in hell. This motherfucker is going to get his ass whooped. That that that's what saying. Um, I think three. Uh, I think it's going to be three zero. Now after you've seen it, it's okay to say you know like well okay yeah he won three zero because you actually saw what happened. But to predict that shit. That means, you know, you're going into that battle thinking this motherfucker ain't got a shot in hell to win. And I'm, I'm not going to go into any battle saying B-Magic ain't got a shot in hell to winning. I, I just can't do it. I, I, I can't do it. I can't think and my I, mouth I, I, I think like that. that. Most, if, if, mostly any MC at this time, if you put it in front of Big T. I really feel like Big T's hungry, and he's going to he, he I know how disappointed he is in that big cannon battle. And I know that he has to prove it to himself. So I, I think three bars of fire he's going to come with. And I hope I'm right. I feel you. I feel you. All right, let's get to let's get to the next matchup, which could could be the main event. I don't think it will. It could be the main event. I don't know. But um, this is a highly anticipated battle oh. right here. This battle. A lot of people that have been picking up a lot of buzz, especially over the last year, because because of, because of how good this one opponent's been doing and how he's pretty much had a second rebirth in the battle rap culture. We got Charlie Clips versus Tay Rock, the rematch. Ugh. It's going down. It's, this, this, this battle has been a couple of years in the making. The first time they battled, was at um, was at a small little bodega, uh, you know, up in Harlem. You know, Tay Rock was, you know, pretty much still getting his name up. He wasn't the same Tay Rock we know today as far as, like, popularity goes. You know, Charlie Clips was pretty much on the come up himself, you know. But, you know, he... He, you know, he was in his comfort zone up in Harlem. Again, he's going to be in his comfort zone again up in New York. But it's a different type of environment. It's a di way different type of environment than it was before. And this is, and you know, the whole, you know, like this this matchup is looked at as, as being more of a, on a level playing field than the first one was considered to be on. And I don't know. I'm like, I remember I used to tell people, like, you know, you know I'm a Charlie Clips fan and, you know, like, and everything else. But I remember that first battle they battled. I remember after I watching that battle saying, that dude Tay Rock was doing his shit, was doing his thing. He was spitting some shit. The um, Clips was just better each round. Clips was just better each round. But it wasn't like Tay Rock was garbage. So I didn't think Tay Rock had, had a bad battle that battle. He just was just, he just, you know, was outshined, you know what I mean, by, by Charlie Clips or whatever. But I don't think, I, I think Tay Rock's way more polished now, and yeah, this is going to be an interesting battle. Let me hear what your predictions is real quick before I get mine. Tay Rock's been waiting for this battle. This is Tay Rock's Tez and Rex. More than that, also, so because because this is Tay, like this is the one that that set him down a few steps that he has to walk back up. Um, mm -hmm. Tay wants this battle. Uh, Tay Rock two one. I, it, I could even call the rounds. Well, I can't call the rounds, but uh, my prediction is first and third round. First round, I think he's going to come off on fire just swinging. 
Mm -hmm. well, actually, Tate usually does good the second round. I don't know. But this, this is the way I would predict it, though. He's going to come on fire just swinging. Probably lose a little energy in the second. In the third round, I expect Clips to take relax and Tate to edge the third. So, 2-1, Tay Rock. And he gets his vengeance. <sighs> um, you know, I can't be mad at you for picking that. I can't be mad at you for picking that because Tay Rock is another motherfucker who's on fire. Tay Rock has been on fire for, like, the last two years, actually. And, like, <sighs> woo, New York loves Tay Rock and New York loves Clips. So this is going to be in the room. I think in the room, as far as, like, crowd reactions, I think this is going to be the loudest the crowd is going to be. I think this is the loudest the crowd is going to be this night because, like, both of these motherfuckers, both of these motherfuckers are really good at amping the crowd up. Both of them. Do you think it would matter who goes first on this one? Yes. Yes. But the funny okay. thing is we all know Clips wants to go first. Clips wants to go first because, and, and you know what? I'm not sure if that's a good idea to do against Tay Rock because Tay Rock brings high energy when he's on that stage. And normally Clips likes to go first and tries to suck the energy out the room for the, for the, um, for the opponent. So when the opponent go to spit, everything he says doesn't seem as hot. Like, that's, that's Charlie Clips' whole philosophy for going first. And I don't think he can do that. That, that works with certain motherfuckers. I'm not sure if that's going to work with Tay Rock up in the room. I, I think it will be a mistake for Clips to do that. I think Clips will be better, be better off going last. I think whoever goes last is going to have the advantage in this battle. I think. Let's go. So you think, your, what do you say? Yeah. All right, so you, you think that Clips should – trick us all and go second in this one yeah yeah i definitely feel like he should go second i i think going first is i think going first is going to help wind um help wild the crowd up but if he gets the crowd worked up during his round tay rock is good at like tay rock tay rock's good at bouncing back and riding that same way and taking that way yeah and taking that wave and taking and making it higher tay rock tay rock's tay rock's is one of these motherfuckers, you just got to see him in the room. A lot of people watch Tay Rock on footage and be like, why are they so gassed up on his bars? That wasn't all that. It's real easy to get caught up with Tay Rock on stage because he kind of demands that uh, that attention. And he, he like, it's just, it's just, it's, easy, it's real easy to get caught up. Both of them are real good in the room. Both of them had that skill, and both of them are real good in the room. So this is a really hard battle for me to call also. Really hard battle for me to call. Um... And I'm gonna have to agree with you, son. I think I'm. A, I think I'm. A, I think Cliff is gonna fuck around, go first, and I think it's gonna hurt him. And I think Tay Rock is gonna surprise a lot of people. A lot of people want to see Tay Rock win this battle too. A lot of people want to see Tay Rock win this battle for two different reasons. One, a lot of people became real big on Tay Rock over the last few years. A lot. Tay Rock done um, got into a lot of people top five, and um. Number number two, clips. A lot of people don't like clips. A lot of people don't like clips, and and a lot of people want to see clips get knocked off his high horse. And another thing, clips makes me nervous. Like, cause like I said, when clips is on top of his game, I don't feel like too many motherfuckers can beat clips when he's on top of his game. Like real talk. Like when clips is on top of his shit, I don't think it's too many people that can step in front of him and actually beat him. But he makes me nervous because. I don't know if he's going to be on top of his shit from night in and night out. I know Tay Rock's going to be on top of his shit. Like, I, just, I know Tay Rock's going to be on top of his shit. And I think Clips has to be on top of his shit in order to beat Tay Rock. And I'm just nervous whether or not that's going to be the case. So I, I'm going I'm to I'm surprise you. I'm going to roll with Tay Rock, man. I'm going to go with the upset. I don't even know if it's an upset. I don't even know if I can call it an upset, but I'm going I'm to go with Tay Rock. That's the upset. I'm going to go with Tay Rock. It's the upset. Most people are saying Clips. It's the upset. Yeah. And, and, and I mean, Clips, there's something else, too. 40 Bars got mad since we were singing, singing right now about the girls. Um, Clips got daylight six days later. Like, this, I don't... And yeah, that's another thing. And that's another thing. He's writing for so many people. And Tay Rock, all he's focusing really on is clips. He, you, you know, Tay Rock won this battle for years. 
Tay Rock yep. been wanting this battle for years. You know what I'm saying? Like, and Chris kind of like just sandwiched this battle in between a whole bunch of other battles. So it's yep. like, so that that's why I'm going with Tay Rock. That's why I'm going with Tay Rock. I I, I wouldn't be surprised if Clips won, but I, I'm I'm because I, I think this battle's going to be real debatable. But yeah, I'm 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 riding with Tay Rock on this one. I think Tay Rock's going to win this. I I think. I think it's going to be very close, though. And, yeah, again, and I, whoever goes last is going to have the advantage. And I think battle rappers need to stop taking two threatening opponents back-to-back, to tell you the truth. I mean, that's that's a that's a big challenge on themselves. It's a big challenge on themselves. I think, I think it's risky whenever they decide to do that. And, you know, it's like... You know, I, I you know I can't tell motherfuckers when to take. They should take their battles and everything else. I can I I could you know give my personal opinion on when when I feel like they should be taking battles, but I can't like you know really you know that's that's on them though. You know what I'm saying? You know, but I think um, if I was Clips, I probably would have wanted to focus on this battle a little bit before taking on a per a person like Daylight not too long after. But yeah, Daylight's a killer. Uh, Daylight's a killer. I think well, Daylight's gonna... another one who's going to focus on this battle. Like, like you got to understand, Clips is going to bring the best out of everybody. Motherfuckers see Clips coming up on their schedule, they they they, well, they automatically they, Daylight... they get focused. No, no. To they... be fair, Daylight got the the battle in July. So. Yeah. All right. Now, um, we all right. We got and then we got the last battle at night. <sighs> this battle, another crazy battle that kind of, another battle kind of got started on this show. Again, you guys are welcome. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, the return of one of Jesse's all-time favorites, Rambo. $3, dollars, going up against the person everybody loves to hate, John John the Don. Now, this is an interesting battle on a lot of different levels. <laughs> you, see, um, you, you, you know what I don't get about you? Yeah, you what? give the Rambo line such a hard time, but the multiple choice, you'd be like, I like it. I like it. I personally like it. Well, it's creative. I, I mean, it's, it's creative the way, like, he never it, does it the same. He's not he never does it the same. He's that in the third, you know, but some people are tired of it, or whatever. They say, okay, you know, you, uh, that's fair. That's fair if you say you're tired of it or whatever. But the first time, motherfucker, like, that's not filler. That multiple choice shit ain't filler. That Rambo line was filler. Are you kidding me? Like, a motherfucker ain't freestyling that multiple choice shit. A motherfucker could freestyle that Rambo line. Are you fucking kidding me, Jesse? You really gonna compare that, that, that Rambo would, line that, to the multiple choice shit? Like, you're tripping. That would be you're a tripping. high freestyle. You're that tripping. That, that multiple choice shit takes way more thought process than that fucking Rambo line. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm but so I, fucking I, I sorry. Want, <laughs> I want to see how many tweets, I want to see how many comments you get saying that Rambo line is filler. I, I, I uh, yeah, to... well, please tweet tweet me at Hip Hop Psycho. That's S Y K O. Yeah, please. Yeah, yeah. Let me please. If you think that shit ain't filler, tweet at me so I can ask you what the fuck drugs you want. So I so I can not take them shit. <laughs> Word up. I'm telling you that shit is filler. I'm gonna stand by that shit. That that Rambo line is filler. In 2014, that is filler. I'm sorry. Um, but anyway, he, I, let's, let's uh, get yeah, some, let, let, we we getting off topic. We getting off topic. Okay, we okay, are, well, no, obviously, you can tell by the way Jesse's talking. We he ain't really got even say who he thinks going to win. But we're going to go and, ahead and, and ask him tell, anyway. You can tell and by give the way me your reasoning. Talking. Give me your reasoning you can behind. Tell by the way, you're talking. All right, you can tell them by the way you're talking. <laughs> who you think you're talking. Yeah, exactly. You, you're right. <laughs> you're right. But go ahead, give your reasoning behind it. Three dollars, two one. Because he's going to come in, he's going to prove to everybody. And I just, the reason why I brought up Rayman earlier is because everybody's counting the, the um, old school heads out. Like, you know, you use the cannabis, you use, uh, nobody uses Lux as an example. Um, nobody uses, and now Rayman's going to be an example. And Reed's going to be another example, man. Reed has studied this. He knows what he's doing. Uh, his fan base is definitely going to be there. Because niggas are anxious to see Reed Dollars back in that ring. Um, I think Reed is going to just go back to the old Reed Dollars and just get him with bars. Reed Dollars 2-1. Um, multiple choice. I don't want to hear it no more. I hope I don't. You're right. It was creative when he first did it. Um, I don't think he should bring it. I do think it's going to be a good battle. I, I think John John gets too many haters as well. 
but uh, three dollars for one. Yeah, well, you know, I already been on record saying I don't think Reed is gonna really pan out on the big stage. Like, you know, this is completely different times. You know, like Reed has never battled in front of this type of crowd before. Uh, I, I, I I don't know too much about his music career. I'm not even too sure if he performed in front of a big. I mean, he probably did. I'm not going. I'm I'm not saying he did or didn't. I'm just not too sure. Um. But I definitely know he hasn't battled in this size crowd before, and um, this is this, you know it's, it's different, man. And this URL crowd, I, let's put it like this: he better hope it's a lot of Reed Dollar fans there. And if it's not a lot of Reed Dollar fans there, he better be killing it, or else this could end bad. This could end bad if he's not if he's not on stage kicking some. He and it got to be better than some Rambo filler bars. It better be better than Rambo filler bars. He's gonna have to be kicking some shit. Now, again, I'm willing to give motherfuckers a shot. I'm willing to listen and, and hear what motherfuckers gotta say. I'm give, I give motherfuckers a chance to prove me wrong. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Now I'll come up on here again, say I was wrong. I, but I'm just, I really don't think it's gonna happen for Reed. I think John John is gonna go up there. John John's gonna do what John John do. I don't, I, I'm not saying I don't think we're gonna see the best John John. Maybe we will. I don't think we're going to see the best, but I'm not even predicting that we're going to see the best John John, but I don't think we need to see the best John John in order for him to win this battle. I think John John at 75% can still beat Reed at 100. That's just my personal opinion. That, that this, Again, we're talking 2014. Um, this is just a completely different ball game. Now, if Reed comes up on here and he starts spitting some real hot shit, for for 2014, that's some real killer killer bars, and he like I, like I said, all he has to do for me is make it debatable, and to me, he won. Well, even if he lost, he won. If he just makes it debatable, just make it debatable. Make make me a believer that you can survive in this era. That's all I'm asking for. I'm not even asking for a win. Give me a debatable battle. I don't think it's going to be debatable. I think John John Don's going to win three nothing. But in order for but. If Reed just makes it debatable, I'll come up on here and and say he won by default, um, by technicality. He won just because he made it debatable. That's how I feel. You think Smash will fuck around and make this the main event? I don't. Honestly, no. I don't think so. I don't think it's going to be the main event. You think they rock clips in it? No, I don't think they're going to save that for the main event. Honestly, I think Cortez and Rex is going to go last. Has the, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Rex does seem to be like the the closing dude to them now. Right? Yeah, like, and I don't, I'm not, I don't think it, I don't think it's no, like, I don't think it's he. They're gonna be going last because they feel like they're the best battle. I just think that's just gonna be the order that's been chosen to go. I I I, I would think that might be the last battle or whatever. They're gonna yeah, want, they they're gonna like want to, they're gonna want to record some of those battles when the when the energy is still high, like Clips and Tay Rock. They want the crowd energy still high when that battle happens. Um, when Reed Dollars and John John go up, they're gonna want the crowd still a little amp when that battle happens. They're gonna want the crowd still a little amp when B Magic and Big T go they, up. They, they so, might start it off. Um, they might start it off with Reed. And I, I wouldn't be surprised. I I wouldn't be. No, I don't think they'll start it off with Reed. I wouldn't be surprised if they started off with like B Magic and, and Big do- T. B Magic Big T start off. I wouldn't be surprised if that that'd be the first battle. And that's that a really a good battle off, to yeah. start off with. That, that could be a start off. Yeah, you're right. That could be a start off. It's not going to be right, a female like, battle. They, the female battle is going to be better than the They like jumping. They like starting the battles off with B Magic because B Magic, like when B Magic's on, um, especially with Big T, that's also a good look. So like you know, like they like jumping it off with somebody like B Magic because you know the crowd is amped up. They've been waiting for probably hours, standing up for probably hours, and they want to get the crowd going. And B Magic's good at getting the crowd hype and, and giving them what they want and what they've been waiting all those hours for. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I could see B-Magic, Big T starting it off. Yeah. I agree. I, I could agree with that. You know, yeah. Goods and Verb, I think they're, they're going to try to put towards the end. Goods and Verb might actually end it off, if you think about it. Um, Maybe. Maybe. That could be. I don't think so, though. I don't think so. It could be. I mean, maybe, but I don't think so. I don't yeah, think man. so. And, and, yo, I, I don't know. Just like a message for the battle is, though, like, 
Yeah, man, try to do what Goods and Burb did, yo. Like, they really, you know, people forgot them for <laughs> was coming up, and, you know, they reminded yeah. him, and they really showed their fight, yo. They did a great job. So, like, I, you know, I, I commend them a lot for that because, they, you know, they did the blogs, and they, they were funny. That's what they're supposed to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's exactly. what they're supposed to do. You know, so shout out to yeah. them for that. No. Yeah, uh, let's get some of these fan predictions because we got some fans here. I know they want to chime in. I know they got opinions about this. So uh, let's see. Let's go um, six five seven. You there? Yeah, I'm here. What up? What up, Psycho or Jesse? What's, What's good? good man? How are you? I'm good, man. Man, run them down, man. Let me. I got some words for Psycho too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lay off Jesse this show, and I'm gonna go with right. Psycho. But, but but run down the battles, man. Uh, I'm yeah. not gonna go in on you, but I, I got I got a couple. I'm gonna yeah, start. I mean, hey, it guys. is what it is, man. It is what it is. Let's go. Uh, let's see. We got uh, Hustle Gaddis. Hustle Gaddis. This is a matchup I really don't care about, but for some reason I don't know why. But uh, yeah, I take Gaddis. Gaddis two one. I like Hustle though. I love Hustle, but yeah, I just yeah, take yeah. Gaddis. I think she's going. I think Hustle might win on on footage, maybe. But I, I, in, in the room, I got Gaddis. Yeah. Let's, yeah. Um, let's go. Uh, let's see. Was it? Let's go. Goods verb. Who, who you got there? Goods verb. See, I don't see the thing about Goods verb. Remember at Gnome Three, um, Goods and I mean Verb and Arsenal got on stage and we was booing Verb. And then once he started rapping, first. we start sharing them. Yeah. yeah exactly. So yeah. We care. All we care about is rapping. If you want to, if you want to say rapping wise, I go. I think it's gonna be a footage in the room thing. Like you might go goods in the room two one, verb on footage. You could probably say two one, yeah. just like the. So, yeah, I agree. yeah, I go. I, I, I go agree. both ways on that one. All right, so what you got you goods in the room, verb on footage. Yeah, I go with that. That's a that's a fair little. All right, that's what's up. All right, let's go DNA ill will. See, this is another random, like, punching back DNA type matchup. I think they, I'll be feeling like Smack just be having DNA in there for a punch, like, to, to see if he could, if you beat DNA, okay, then you get a bigger top tier match, but. Like he's the, like he's the ladder or something? Yeah, like, yeah, you got to beat DNA. Like, if Chilla didn't get past DNA, so Chilla took a whole year off of your URL. It's like, you got to get so past DNA's DNA. So DNA the new so. gatekeeper? DNA's the new that's gatekeeper? A, that's, the main stage gatekeeper. That's what we. That's what we call it. <laughs> <laughs> so it will get past DNA, but I think he gonna get past. Him. Let's go. I will go two one. Let's keep it fair. I don't want to shit on DNA. He been getting shit done on like. Yeah, I like DNA. I don't know why people be shitting on DNA like that. But I will. I, again, I but guess Jesse. Is, of a situation like Jesse be saying. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah that too. That's the fact. The funny part is you sleep on DNA, and then when he's in the room, he just wins people over every, yeah, every exactly. fucking time. Every exactly. time. People can't wait to see get the get him the fuck out of here. People be in the crowd, they can't wait for that shit, son. Like they just they, they can't they just be waiting for it. Like get him the fuck out of here, be drunk. <laughs> I think he could pull it off, shit. man. I really think. I think he could maybe pull it off, but I'm gonna just go two one and be safe. Ill will, but I think DNA could definitely pull it off, man. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna be one of the people that hate on him. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's go. Uh, uh, B Magic, Big T. See, I'm a big, big T in my top three, but he been, he been slacking, man. But I can't. I'm like Jesse with Rex and Big T. Like, nigga, he gonna win three zero every time, even though the nigga. <laughs> I be arguing with niggas like, well, he lost a big cannon, but I'm still like, yeah, he might have got that two one. But even though he barely <laughs> lost, <laughs> oh, you that motherfucker? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but just because I'm a Big T fan, I'm gonna go two one, man. But uh, you never know, man. Big T been slacking, but he said he got some shit. But who knows, man? Who knows? Well, I believe he do. I believe he's gonna go in there and spit some shit. I, he don't, he don't never go in there and just do horrible. Um, yeah, I take Big T two one. Because Big T got everything, and B-Magic, he kind of is a one-trick pony. Big T could do a little bit more, but and punches hurt. So Yeah. Yeah, the punches do hurt. Yeah, B-Magic got a lot of them, too. Yeah, the punches hurt, so. Every time you we'll think see, he's man. done, he keep going and shit. It's like, damn, man, how much more of this shit you got? <laughs> exactly. Um, all right, let's see. Let's go uh, Cortez T-Rex. See, I'm a Rex fan. I don't really mm-hmm. like and then this is Cortez's first time on a 
major event, like a major card, you are yeah. a card. So we don't even know how the crowd can respond to him. His wordplay style might not win nobody over. You might not be able to do that. But at the same time, you remember Cortez was hunting down Diz for years, and when he got Diz, he turned Diz. Exactly. He surprised people. And I think it's going to happen again this time. I think it's going to happen again this time. I think he's going to surprise Rex. I think Rex is going to win in the room, like I said. In the room, I think he, I think Rex is going to win because Rex is real hard to win in the, beat in the room. But on footage, yeah. I think it's going to look a whole lot closer. I think it's going to look a whole, think, whole lot closer. I think Rex is on. I, I think Rex knows Tez is coming at his best. I'm telling yeah, you, if Tez goes that personal angle, it's going to backfire on him, man. There's exactly. You cannot be beat Rex. You can't beat Rex. I'm going to tell you, no Tez is going to have at least one round with it. I hope he does. And I hope, and I hope it's not more than one round. I hope it's not more than one round because if he does two rounds full of personals, he's gonna he's gonna fuck around. He's gonna lose two one and fuck around and get body. He's gonna lose two one and beat. fuck around and get body. He he he's not gonna be able to, to go at Rex two rounds worth of personals and expect to come off with a win. It's just I don't yeah. think it's gonna happen. And I just can't I can't see that wordplay style working in in a room full of like two. 1,500 people. I don't know, man. I just feel like, but but at the same time, Cortez is motivated to, to battle Rex. But he, I don't feel like he know what he got to do yet. He never battled on that big of a stage, but I could be wrong, man. But I, I got Rex 2-1, man. Harlem, man. Dot Mob. Jesse, what up, man? Dot <laughs> Mob. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's go. Uh, let's see. We got Cliff's Tay Rock. Cliff's Tay Rock. Jesse be hating on Cliff. I don't know why Jesse be hating on Cliff's. He do. That nigga do really be hating, hating, on, hating on, Cliff. on Cliff's, man. But, but, right. yo, how many people agree with me last week about Clips? Uh, the reason why I say Clips is fantastic at what he does, the reason why I, I give him a hard time on the show is because he doesn't. He comes with out of third round, thinking, yeah. he's gonna do, like, I lied, and we're all I'll, supposed to be like, I, I, oh, I well, can feel you there. I can feel you there. No, I can feel that. I can feel that. I can, but you, yeah. But that you be part kind of making it seem like... But you be making it. But you know what's like, crazy okay. is, like I said before, he does that and still wins most of the battles that he, battles, that he yeah, is doing that. So still like, be debatable. So imagine if he didn't do that and he was on top of his game all the time, one hundred percent of the time. Like this motherfucker will be arguably, arguably undefeated, arguably. Like you this know, one of course confirmed. there'll be That's some that motherfucker to say he took an L on, but like if he was like that all the time and like. Some of those debatables that he got wouldn't be debatable no more. Yeah, exactly. It seemed like he don't even be trying. But the, I knew Jesse hated on Clips when he said Holla Hun or whatever his name is could beat Clips. Yeah, that was his yeah. Oh, yeah. He was on drugs. I, I was like, I, what I, are you I, talking about? I, I was doing some heroin with Holla Hun when I said that. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I told that you was you a hater tripping when you said that shit. I, was like, I couldn't believe you were saying that on the air. Like you tripping, son. Yeah, I, I, I'm, actually, I'm actually a Hollahan fan. I, I was a Hollahan fan, but yeah, that was a bugged out statement. Uh, For rock, rock clips. I'm gonna go with the under. I'm gonna go with rock, man. That's it. Like I'm go. just, I feel like I feel like he could do it. I feel like Psycho was wrong about that because if you let Rock start it off, I don't know if Clips can match that energy. Uh, I, I think, think he Clips could. Might. I think he could. You think so? But you've been in, a, you've seen clips in the room before, like obviously, right? You seen yeah. clips in the room before, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like you, yeah. son, it's like he steals the crowd. He steals the crowd. Like I only seen clips get booed once. I only seen clips get booed once. Yeah. And and like like even and even that battle, he had the crowd. Like that first round, he had against B Magic. Yeah, the crowd so was you might crazy. be right because in Chicago, Hitman started off, and then clips. Was like when Clips and Hitman battled, and Hitman and brings a lot of energy. Hitman went first, and then Clips went second, and he was had the more energy. So you might be right about that. I don't know. Mm. Now that I think about it, yeah, you you might be right. But I just go with the underdog with this one, man. I go I go with Rock, man. I think he might be able to pull it off in a room. I might I think it might be different on Cam. Yeah, I think it might be different on Cam. Oh, okay. All right, and we got, uh, let's see, last one, uh, John John versus Reed. John John Reed, okay, this is the one I had to have some comments. Psycho, you oh, be okay. hating on Reed, okay? You be hating <laughs> on Reed, okay? Yes, yes, yes. And yes. the reason I know Psycho hate on Reed, the show that Reed came on here, Psycho was off that day. He wasn't on here. That nigga oh, was no, not that, on. that wasn't because Reed, that wasn't because Reed. Oh, no, Reed. no, that wasn't because Reed was on. Yeah, he, I'm about he, to he, 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 for me. That wasn't because of Reed. Legit, okay, 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 I, I, I let you, I let you, I let you get away with that one. <laughs> but the thing about Jesse is he he used the worst examples when he 
Like, don't use the Rambo bar, man. Trying to, you can't convince him. Will you him please tell that. him that's filler? You a read? Obviously, right. you a read fan. Can you tell him that Rambo bar is filler? It's a it's good nostalgic bar, and it was hard. Yeah, but you can't. You, don't even give no examples, or Jesse. Just be like, man, I just, I just feel the nostalgic. <laughs> I just like the nostalgic, and I want to bring that back, man. Don't give an okay, example. Okay, I can live we with really that. don't have. Yeah, like I, that. That's what you say, Jesse. Don't say like try to make like uh, he has bars. He really don't. It's just the well, nostalgic they, the energy. They, 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 Thank they, you. They were saying, yo, name one bar that Reed said that was hot. So I said, you know, that was crazy. Like, and and yeah, that's not just a crazy like, bar. You should have just That's kept it honest. Bar. Like, man, I just like the nostalgic of Reed, man. It's been a long he, time. He, I want to see He has a real do. hot delivery, and I always give yeah. props for that. He has a real, like, he, he, he delivers his shit right. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's real grimy in your face type shit. And, you know, it's real easy to get caught up in how he's delivering his shit. But, like I said, like, when you get past all that and you actually listening to him, he's not saying no crazy shit. Like, he's not, yeah, he's yeah. not making me hit the rewind button. Like make me like, make could, me rewind this video, pause the video or something, and he don't make me do that. I could definitely understand that, but I think with Reed, it's just a delivery thing, psycho. You can't really, it ain't really. You don't listen to him for bars, man. I'm gonna be honest, but it's just certain MCs that don't. You can't listen to all of them for bars. I think Reed is like a delivery yeah. guy, but if he yeah, comes I back mean, with that, that, that's cool. I think he'll be better on tracks than he actually would be in the ring. Like you know, I think yeah, I think yeah, his yeah. music could probably be sound. I, I I'm I don't listen to a lot of his shit, so I, I don't know how his music is but i'm sure he sounds good on tracks i'm sure he does yeah, yeah he, he, he has that he has that type of style that that comes across like suge like suge sounds yeah, real good actually, on tracks you know what i'm saying like he sounds better on tracks than he does actually battling you know what i'm saying so like, yeah, it's a suge type thing like you don't listen to suge particularly for bars it's like an energy and the, like certain things he says it's not really it's not a that's why you can't say bars when it comes to reed i don't think he's a bar guy mm-hmm but with that yeah. battle, um, John John is the type of MC where if he people hate him so much, if he does one thing wrong or he says something that kind of sounds like someone else, they're gonna boo him. You know how they play with John John, so I don't. Mm. Reed might have. Yeah, you, uh, you know what? The funny part I, I didn't even like bring that up as an example, but the funny part is I think that the crowd is going to be more Reed based than John John based. That's that what crowd. I think too. Yeah, I think John yeah. John had, Don John definitely has the upper hand, cause, but the people who are from the nostalgic area, like they want Reed to win, but we know John John might be the better MC. But I feel like they might be if John John says one thing close to something somebody says, John John gonna be all over it. Oh God, you're gonna be all over it. All or over if he just accidentally says B, nigga, he there will. Oh my God, I will say this. Say I think I don't think Reed is gonna have to work as hard to get the crowd going than as John John will have to do. I think John yeah. John's gonna have to work harder to get the crowd going than Reed is. I think Reed I think a lot of people in the crowd are gonna be so happy to see Reed on stage where they're gonna be real patient with him. And yeah, it's not exactly. gonna take a lot to really please him. We're gonna give him some time to warm up. We definitely gonna give him some time. So I think even though John John might be the better pick like I'm like agreeing with Psycho, he might definitely be the better pick. But I feel like John John, if he's so hated, nigga, like when if he slipped yeah, he a little bit on the stage, they gonna boo him. Yeah. So the, people really don't like John John, huh? <laughs> people really <laughs> don't like John John. I I, I swear I I, can, I probably count on one hand how many John John the Don fans I actually heard call this show saying that John John they do like he just like. Yeah. People just don't be fuck. I, I, but I can I can count numerous fans who came on here saying they hate him. <laughs> so yeah, like, yeah. John, no, I don't, yeah, I don't, exactly. I don't think it's necessarily that. Um, I think John John had fans in the beginning. I think that the more after John Summer John Madness grew, too, after the, Summer Madness two, everybody's hated John John. After Summer Madness two, I, it, it was the Hitman battle. It was, it was the Hitman battle. Yeah. Right? I don't, it was the Hitman battle. The Hitman battle. The I think it happened battle. a little after the Hitman battle. Tell you the truth. It, it was the Hitman battle, son. Before the Hitman no, battle, I, I, people was you, okay with John John. It people was okay with John John. Park when you lost to that white boy. Bob. Yeah, yeah, it, Jesse That's might be happened. right. It kind of did happen after the white boy. No, they off, already hated him when that happened. Oh, yeah. Jesse, when he lost, you talking about when he lost on 106? People already hated yeah. John John when that shit happened. People, not, not people really. was happy. But, but That's why they were so happy. Jesse, that's why they were so happy. You got cooked by a white boy. Jesse. That's why they were so. That's why they were so happy when it actually happened because they already hated him from the Hitman battle. They already hated yeah, John John when that one was. Go check the go check the date. Go check the date. The Hitman battle happened. Jesse, go check the date. The Hitman battle happened first. 
they, they, they it was a that's John, what I'm saying. John John he caught a barrage of hate. John John Yo, caught a barrage right, of man. hate. After that, it was like the hitman. It was like the hitman battle. It was like people were saying he might have won, and then people was going back like, did he really just copy everything hitman said and win? Yep, and that's, and that's when, when we started, started hating him. And that's when yeah. it started. Everybody started going. People started turning into Jacques Cousteau and shit. They started going through all his battles. Like, yo, look, he stole this line too from blah blah from blah blah blah. They go back yeah. to an old grind time battle. Oh, look, he stole this too from blah blah blah. And it, 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 I'm telling you, every single episode we had, I had about three motherfuckers calling in saying. Um, we'll be talking about, it, like, Big T will be on the show. We'll be talking, like, you got some questions Big T? Yeah, I got some questions about Big T. And they didn't talk to Big T. And then, like, but before I go, let me just but say John, this. John, 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 yeah. John, I, it's corny as hell for blah, blah, blah. He's a biter and blah, blah, blah and everything. Like, they, everybody had an opinion yeah, about John, John. That. Most of it wasn't good. Most of I remember it was that. not good. I, I, so, I remember defending John John on this show plenty of times. Like, he was the only person, because I was, I was one of them haters that called in, like, nigga, John John is trash, so I, I'm a part of that, but you was yeah. defending him. <laughs> 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 but it was, like, yeah, it, it wasn't just you, it was a lot of people, like, people, and people still to this day don't like John John, like, he, like, it's a, he gets, he gets a lot of hate. He gets a we just lot feel like of he, we just feel like he used to just be trolling. Like he'd troll his way onto the biggest stages. Like nigga, stop trolling. I, people, I think man. that was a lot of it too. It was, uh, it, you know, the fact that you know he made it to the to the uh, summer madness two thing, and some people were like, "Well, this this doesn't fall in the old school versus new school era." Like, yeah, how the yeah. That'll people... get made and shit like that. So yeah, his push, his push definitely had. But that was one of the battles it. of the night, though. That was one of the battles. That was one yeah, of the that was the battle. Yeah. yeah, that was it. But I got him with Reed. I got him. Uh I got Reed two. I got Reed two one in the building. But I think once it come to footage, people are gonna be like, John John might have won this battle. So I'm just being fair all across the board with with all the battles, yeah. man. Two one yeah. type. Yeah. You think it's gonna be? You think it's gonna be close? But you gonna edge it? Yeah, I edge it to. I think John John might. Might have got it in the room, man. But you know who might be turning to the new John John before I go? You know who might be turning to the most hated person in battle rap is Adi Boom. Yeah, Adi Boom. Yeah, people no, do not no, like not him, might be turning, <laughs> Not might be turning. Not might Yo, I think it's whoever's mad cool with Norm show. Like, <laughs> I what it is. I know. John John was mad Adi cool boom. with Norm show. Adi Boom. Freaking, yo, I don't know what it is, but... Like, we it, hate him. Like, we really hate, like... It's like, say, now you, I'm, you, I'm you like, oh, John, we, John cool. So you're counting yourself? Because, look, like, <laughs> I would have never, in the old days, I would have even said John John 2-1 on cam. Or, and mm -hmm. I'd be like, nigga, agree, 3-0. But I hate so he started to warm so up a little bit to John John. Yeah, like, he, like he, yeah. he done he done he done he done he done dropped a little bit on your on your most hated meter and shit. Like he ain't number one no more. Yeah, <laughs> done, now boom done. came. It's like okay, everybody three zero when it come to boom. Let's go three zero. <laughs> so why, why 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 do you hate boom? I don't know. It's just, it's the image, man. I swear it's about the image, man. You gotta be humble, son. I don't know, man, Jesse. See, yo, low key, forget, low key, yo, I got you winning. That... Now I have you winning. Yeah. I have oh, you beating you. <laughs> See, what, what, what can't forget is that Boom is young, yo. Boom is 21. He, he's on he's on BET. Like, yeah, he's coming off a little cocky, but he's feeling himself right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, he, he's young. But um, I think I, I think more than that, I think it's one, one person attacks you, and everybody's like, yeah, let's attack them because, you know, uh, one rapper called out John, John John for biting bars, and everybody's like, yeah. And yeah. now, um, A Verb and Tez called out Boom for reaching, and the fans are like, "Yeah!" And he does reach. He does reach, but you know, it's everybody reaches a little bit. Um, but a lot of yeah, people man, think. I, a lot of people feel like, I, from what I've been hearing from the fans, from what I gather from the fans, a lot of people feel like Adi Boom kind of get kind of got pushed too fast. A lot of people feel like he getting pushed. Too. A lot of people yeah. don't like yeah, the that that battle Verb. A lot of people don't like the fact that he battled Verb and everything. They don't feel like he deserved that battle, and yeah. and I, a lot I think of it's just like, the, I think it's just the, it's just the image psycho. Like we I, we really don't. It's just the image he caught. Like I don't know what are you cocky for. We don't. I'm telling you, he didn't knew John John. Like we like we like. I kind of I'm warming up to John John, but boom, like Jesse. I don't know why you put him in the game. Why did you do this, man? Why did you do this? <laughs> you blame it, Jesse. <laughs> Jesse did this. Man. 
<laughs> but that's all I got, man. That's all I got. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the call, man. Yeah, boom, boom is cocky. Like I said, man, niggas got to remember the boom is young. You know, yeah. Niggas got to push. All right, let's go, uh, let's go 414. You there? Man, what's that? Stax in the building. What it do? All right, Stax, what's good, son? Man, chilling, chilling to yourself. Cool, man. What's good? You uh, you ready for Gnome? You ready, to, you ready for Gnome to go down? You got some predictions? No doubt. Talk to me. All right. That's what's up. Young dad is Miss Hustle. And uh, in the room, Gaddis on on film, Hustle. All right. Hustle just comes harder. Yeah, yeah. She. That's why I, I said she's going. She, she's going. It's going to look a lot better for Hustle on footage. I think. I think it, I agree. I ain't even gonna lie. I think it might get ugly on footage. Like I think she might kill Gaddis. <laughs> it, it it could it could hustle's capable hustle's capable Gaddis ain't no joke either but yeah kids hustle hustle's a beast let's go uh let's see let's go um goods avert verb easy all right <laughs> let's go uh hey, dna matter of fact hold on before you move on from that let me let me say that the reason why i say verb easy I see a lot of East Coast dudes, you know, that, that give Hitman a lot of uh, he's all performance and no bars. But, I mean, mm -hmm. Goods is the same way. Mm -hmm. Goods is the very same way. He's all performance, no bars. So I can see him doing well in the room being in New York. But on mm -hmm. Cam, I think Verb is going to do him bad. And I just, I personally saw what he did. You think Goods going you know to get his first body back? Like, you think he's going to get back for the first time? I mean... Verb on this shit. Yeah, yeah. I can see it happening. As, I mean, business. like I just said, I, I just seen the man with sway. But but and he he just said that he he thinks that Goods might win in the. You said Goods might win in the room, right? He might he might look good in the room, and that's only because I mean. Yeah, so it's not going to be a body bag then. If you're let me ask you this, right? If you're not listening and you're just oh yeah yeah yeah, and you're you know you're you're going off the hype. But then, and you come back, and the bars is just, well, damn, what is that? I I agree with you. I agree with you. I I I think I think Goods relies heavy on his performance. I agree. I I got Verb winning it also on camera. No doubt. All right. I I mean, I literally told Big Cannon I'll do that shit to him. Like I'll just I'll stand on the stage and look at, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Like me and Big Cannon talk, you know, um. Just going them back and forth. I told him I could do what Goods do and not kill him on stage, like real talk. Because I'm an asshole <laughs> like that. That's what I do. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Uh, my fault. Go ahead. Go ahead. My fault, though. No, nah, it's all good. <laughs> let's see. Let's go. Uh, DNA L well. Um, I think too many people was putting too many eggs in ill will's basket, and I think yep. DNA might take this. Yep. I think DNA might. I'm, I'm not saying it's gonna be no body or no three oh like Jesse's saying. I think he's gonna clearly. No, I didn't. I didn't himself. say three oh. I didn't say three oh on this one. But but I my agree with you that. Yeah. yeah, I think DNA clearly is gonna be ill will though. No, I wouldn't be. I mean, DNA is a monster in the room, son. DNA is a monster. D to me, DNA is better in the room than he is on footage. To me. And right. yeah, I, I, that's what I'm he, saying. It, it's so funny when when DNA has a battle coming up because everybody goes, oh, DNA is going to get fucked up. Everybody's saying, oh, it was going to kill him. It was going to kill him. And it's like, y'all forget how y'all feel when DNA, when y'all in that room and DNA spinning. It's like nobody remembers that. I mean, I yeah, can't like, say that because the last, it, I mean, the time DNA's I saw DNA those, in the room, yeah, it, it, I mean, the last time I saw him, he got hit up by a gun cannon, so I can't say that. Yeah. Like, it, one, DNA one of those people, if he lost in the room, I, he ain't got a shot on footage. Yeah, uh, right. DNA's yeah. not one of those people that's gonna lose in the room and then win on footage. The, yeah, the, yeah, you're, you're right. Yep. Like, um, so yeah, D, but but DNA's way better in the room, and like I said, in the room, this battle's gonna look a whole lot closer. And he, he even, um, you know, if he wins, if he wins in the room on footage, it's gonna look a little bit closer for Ill Will probably. But if he loses hey, in the room, question. it's going to be bad on footage. 
Yeah, quick question. Was that true? Smack said that, that Ill Will was going to kill DNA? You know, I saw the title of that on DJ Vlad, and I didn't listen to the interview, so I don't know. I didn't hear the interview but, either. But that was the yeah, Vlad think, quote. Yeah, I think I need to go and check that out. Like, if, if that happened, then I really think DNA is going to fuck Ill Will up in, like, real talk. <laughs> Because there ain't nothing like somebody with a battery in their back, you know, to get amped up, yeah. you know what I mean? But, but you know yeah. what, though? Um, smacking DNA really It will close. has been on record. It will has been on record on this show saying he feels DNA is the most overrated dude on, in, in battle rap. Yeah, yeah. He's I feel that been on the show and said it on the show before. I feel that so. way, too. It, it's no yeah. disrespect to him, but I feel that way, too. Mm. But you know yeah, what, so, I, I saw that quote the DJ Vlad one that you're saying, but I know Smack and DNA are mad cool with each other, so right. I wouldn't be surprised if Smack said it fucking around and they used yeah. that as the, as the YouTube quote, you know. Yeah. Okay, let All me, right. okay, in saying that, let me say this. Even in saying it like that, aren't you sort of swaying and, and putting the bug in the people's ear, though? No, we yeah, all know but, how, how but I, I, mean, I don't know, I didn't, I didn't hear the interview, but... I, from what I'm guessing, I know Smack and DNA are really tight with each other, and I could see Smack saying it like fucking around, you know. Right. And yeah, then and then Vlad just putting it up as a quote. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Um, let's see. Let's go. Let's see. B Magic Big T. Tough. Tough one, ain't it? Yo, I just seen that. Uh, with Jesse say I seen that Rum Nitty battle today too. Yo. Yeah. Yo. Be motherfucking magic. <laughs> Man. Real talk, like, if magic is on his A game, Big T, like, just the fucked up part, Big T is, like, one of my favorite dudes. Mm -hmm. But, yo, I think that's, I mean, if, if both of them is on their shit, I think Big T might edge it because with, with you know, he, he has a little bit more. Jesse said magic nothing. He, I just right, wanted, and yeah, that's, I just that's ludicrous. That. Yeah, that's, that's ludicrous. <laughs> that's fucking retarded. But I think I think I think Big T got something to prove, man. We'll see. I mean, but who said that? Who said that? Don't call him retarded. Don't call him retarded yet. After the battle, don't call him retarded yet. After the battle, in this battle right here, I just it just fucks me up that you're that confident in this battle to say Big T. I could I couldn't say either one or the other. Either way, if it is if if it is a three zero, then then I'm a genius. If it is a three oh you're gonna look like a genius. You gonna I ain't gonna call, I ain't gonna say you a genius, but you're hey, gonna look like one. Since me predicting and, and it, Sam, I'm retarded. It, it, <laughs> if it's true, I'm a genius, this, right? This the thing. And saying that that pick is fucking retarded, that's just one man's opinion. You have nothing to prove to me. That's your opinion. Yeah. And I dig that. I respect that. Mm. But can you back your opinion up with facts after the battle? Like, hey. <laughs> what makes you think? What What in the hell makes you think that D Magic is gonna get cleared? Like, <laughs> that's what I was uh, like. I think like, you, it's and you just I said you, and you, said you just saw the Rum Nitty battle when he went crazy, and that, that yeah. and you still turn I, around I, and say I think he's gonna get body. Yeah, I think it, it has more to do with uh, how I'm estimating Big T's hungerness and to do good more than I'm estimating um, B Magic not to do good. I really think like Big T, like I, I think you could have named almost anybody, and I would have said three zero. I know that he, okay. I know he's mad yeah, disappointed he, himself with the big cannon battle. I think he's gonna come with fire, all three rounds. So <laughs> let me give you, let me give you something, right? Okay, I just, um, I just helped Gracie and Cannon put the crown card together, right? Where you had Big T against Big Cannon, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Big Cannon is. Big T's competition in his own backyard. Yeah. He should have been on wrong. his A game, and he should have been in, on his best shit in that battle. And that's what yeah, he should have been. That's what and, that was a home, and that was a home battle, too. He should have been. And that's the thing. If you go and ask Verb and Hitman who their toughest battle and who who they had to prepare on their good shit for, it was each other. Because that's, man, Verb couldn't lose to the younger brother. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what Cannon did to Big T in his hometown. Yeah. So in saying that, it could be on. I mean, hey, Big T might have I mean, a performance out of this world. I would, 
uh, yeah, I'm not even saying that. I'm not even saying that somebody's crazy for saying Big T is going to win. I, it's the three nothing part. Like I wouldn't. I couldn't right, say that's what that B Magic was, like, was yeah. on three. I couldn't even say B Magic was on three old Big T. Like I couldn't say. Like I went back and forth on this battle so many times. Like that's why I said. Like to me, this is going to be this is like a real hard battle to call. And for Jesse, it wasn't no. It wasn't no problem. He ain't, not. He ain't nope. think about it. He ain't, when, <laughs> he ain't when, when I when I said when I, when I said Mook when I said Mook is going to five old Solomon, I got the same. I got the same feedback, and then when it happened, it was. Well, people ain't think. So you, oh, yeah, wait a minute. So yeah, you really gonna yeah, live off you, that you battle? You sounded like a real homer when you said that, but yeah. So you really gonna live off <laughs> that I, battle? I sounded like a homer because I said five zero. All right. Yeah, that's yeah. A, that's going okay. into the battle, you ended yeah. up looking good. You ended up looking good afterwards, but yeah, you sound like a homer saying that shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It all but for you a prediction. Sound like that particular yeah, right. battle, though. That's what I'm asking. What happened? That's your claim to fame is that particular battle? Yeah, I know. That's not I saying mean, too I, much. I mean, I, I, I do a prediction, man. Because <laughs> hey, almost, right, right. almost everybody picked Mook to win that battle. They just wasn't picking a body bag. You, you're the only one who said body bag. Like, you know. And, and what happened? And a body bag happened, right? So you look they like a homo. They both bag wrong. Huh? They well, both bag they sell. Yeah, that shit was horrible. <laughs> that battle was fucking horrible. I'm I'm, I'm I'm glad. That's why I'm glad Mook is going back in the ring because I I do think Mook is better than that. I, right. I want. I, I'm glad yeah. he's getting back in the ring. I don't want that to be the last. My last impression of him was how bad that no, battle but, was. Yeah, but yeah, it's no claim to fame. It's just a prediction. I I feel like it's going to be a three zero. That's my prediction. I dig it. Don't uh, even trip. <laughs> all right. Let's, think, let's, hey, yeah, Big T and I, I, man. Hey, I predict the classic. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I think it's, it's going to be a classic. Jesse don't think it's going to be a classic. Jesse going to think it's Jesse thinks it's easy three nothing. <laughs> right, so let's go, uh, Cortez Rex. Man, Rex is Rex. Mm. And uh, man, yo, Cortez got something to prove. Mm. And the only reason why, I mean, like. Any ordinary time, I say Cortez easy, and the only reason why I say that is because oh yeah, he been won the battle and whatnot. Again, I just seen Swayze have his funeral against Verb, and he been wanting do for years. So, mm -hmm. man, I'm gonna go with Cortez on two one. I think Rex will win in the room because shit, he right there. It's Harlem, like you know, it's, it's Manhattan, Harlem, so he right there. But yeah, Rex is gonna win Cortez, in the room. I agree. Yo. On Cam, I think Cortez is like, he might show some shit. Like, because he, he, he knows he has to show some shit. Not on that personal shit that you guys were talking about. Mm -hmm. I believe that Cortez is smart enough. Dog, he's not really been on that personal shit the last few times. Like, he's been on, you know, the wordplay and just fucking you up like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think Cortez might just be on some, some killer shit. Mm -hmm. So I, that's the way I, I look at like it. Like I said, I, mean? I expect one round. Uh, 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 at least a round where he where he does the personals. I just hope that that's all it is. Like if he if he okay, keeps, let me, let me if he keeps it to a one round minimum with the personals, I think he can make it debatable. I think he can make it debatable yeah. if he keeps it to one round. Let me ask you this: Now, what if he comes out with personals we ain't never heard of before? Like, and he comes with some shit, and uh, it's proven. Uh, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like again, one round though. One round. If he does it two rounds. It's going. To, it's going to come all across as too much. Uh, it's just and it's just not going to work doing it two straight rounds. Like uh, even if he takes a round off, like it's just not going. To, it, if he saves it for one round and it's some good shit and he and it's done right, and you right. know what I'm saying, then yeah, yeah, he, he could he can possibly win a round doing personals. But I don't I don't think he's going to win the battle if he does two rounds of personals. I I, I think I don't, he needs to keep it the one round. I don't think he'll devote that. Yeah, I don't think he'll devote that much time personally. In the, mm -hmm. you know, going personal. Yeah. Because that'd be... So, yeah, I've seen him do... I've seen, I, but I've seen Cortez do two or three rounds worth of personals. And I just hope this ain't right. one of those battles where he does that. I, I hope not. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah, because if he does, that it's just not going to work against Rex. It's just not against Rex. It's just not going to work. Let's go, um... Let's see who. Oh yeah, we got Clips and Tay Rock. I'm going Clips easy. Easy. The reason why okay. I say that? Yep. The reason why okay. I say that? I got. Hey, look, I can back my opinion up. Mm hmm. 
Me personally, I don't believe Tay Rock has been on fire like everybody is saying. I mean, I know everybody in, in you know, they hyping him up and whatnot. He ain't really said much, in my opinion. It's mm -hmm. just me talking. Yeah. I believe, you know, Clips, he knows, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I fucked him up a few years back, so they expect me to lose. Mm -hmm. I expect Clips to come out, like, man, exactly on fire. Clips knows what he has to do. He's, he's a veteran at this shit, you know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, yeah. I believe the first, I, man, look. Everybody was saying, yo, what if Clips loses the first round of Hitman? And Gracie herself said, yo, what if he actually wins that first round against Hitman? Mm -hmm. And how he came out, yo, he came out in attack mode, came out, you know, to fuck Hitman up. So I, yeah. can, see, I can see the same thing happening here. Like, Tay Rock has a lot of energy, like you said, but I think Clips can match that, and I think he could surpass that. Because I think Clips has yo, yeah, he's capable. Play. He's capable. You know yeah. what I mean? <clears throat> So I think, I think, and then on top of it, everybody is saying, well, yeah, you know what I'm saying, rock is this, rock is that. And I think Charlie feels slighted because he even said the other day, he was like, don't y'all remember, I fucked him up. Mm -hmm. So, yo, I think Clips might have some shit. Yeah. I think he might try to, I think, man, I think he might go for the burial this time, like real talk. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that, I, Clips, <laughs> when Clips is on his day game, not too many motherfuckers can beat him, like I said. Um, and that's the thing, like, all that talk about Rock, what makes you think he won't show up on his day game? You feel me? Yeah, it's it, 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 it just iffy with Clips. It's iffy with Clips, and and, and I fucks with Clips. I, I, he he right. makes me nervous, though, because sometimes, and especially when he has a lot of battles jammed between each other, sometimes... He tends to, you know, take take a round off. You know what I'm saying? He'll go real hard for two rounds, and then a, and then when one of the rounds is like, you know, he kind of half-assed it. You know. But what that's saying? the thing. Like, I think he knows this ain't the battle to take that round off in. I hope so. I hope so. I'm, I'm expecting the classic. This, this no, it's two classics. I'm, I'm really, I'll be shocked if they wasn't classics. And that's B Magic, Big T, and and this one T Rock. I'm I'm expecting classics for these two. These are the two right. battles I'm expecting to be classic. Yeah, let's go. Um, to see last battle, John John Don Reed Dallas, the return. With all due respect, man, I like the Philly rappers. That whole thing, mm -hmm. I'm just not a fan of. Mm -hmm. I mean, Reed is borderline bad to me. Like he has the delivery, he has a lot of energy. You know, he needs rough, but, okay, so what? What else? Yeah. yeah. It's like, <laughs> he's aggressive, but, okay, so what? You know what I mean? Like, he doesn't mm. he doesn't really say nothing that moves me. Yeah, that's where I'm kind of at with it with him. Like, it, it sounds good, but what is he really saying? Like, right. <laughs> and that's, that, but that's how I feel about Tay Rock, though. You feel what I'm saying? That's yeah. the exact way I feel about Tay Rock. So... I mean, I apply it to this battle as well. I mean, like okay, the last wait, I got to ask like, you. Like, I'm not a real. I got to ask you, oh, yeah, not to cut you off real quick. I got to ask you, if you, I know you probably was listening earlier, the Rambo bar. Filler, filler or crazy filler. line? Filler. Again, when has when has he ever said a crazy line? Like, let's be real. Well, he just said he's not a real fan. So, I... Uh, you but wait a minute, person. just because and I'm not a Reed why. fan, and, and that's just because, why. because I'm not a Reed fan like that doesn't mean I don't listen. You see exactly. what I'm saying? <laughs> I listen, gotta... I do, I watch battle rap. I'm not a fan of, oh, he's going to win just because of him. I'm not that. Like I just said, Big T is my favorite, but I'm still expecting B-Magic to show up and show the fuck out. Like, I don't ever, you know what I'm saying, feel that a person is better just because he, that's my favorite. Like, Young Ill is my favorite. I think he just lost to Arsenal. Like... You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it, it, hey, if you're not saying anything that catches me, I'm just that's why I'm not a fan. I can't rock with it. Yeah, yeah. You like, like it ain't, you, this? This 2014 like battle rap has changed. Like you like you you need crazy bars, and I I just don't hear crazy bars from him. Like like I said, back when he was battling the especially the people he was battling who wasn't crazy themselves. To be exactly. honest with you, <laughs> like, I mean, like, he, he was able to get away with that. 
he was able to get away with that. He came out looking like roses after those battles. But this is 2014, and he's not going to be facing that type of competition that he was facing when he kicked the Rambo bars. I don't even remember that dude's name. <laughs> right. So, right. Like, so, so, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it's a completely different ball game right now. I dig that 110. It's just, he, like I said, he's really never said anything to move me, so I don't have anything to say. Well, Reed is going to say this, so, yeah, it might be something. I don't – John John has said shit that, like, oh, ooh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he, he's so, made you pause the video before. He's made you rewind and sit, hear what the fuck he just said again. Like, <laughs> right, real talk. And, yeah, I, I've just never done that with Reed. I, I heard it the first time he said it. I didn't need to rewind it. I, I heard it the first time. <laughs> I just I, I, he just never made me have to hit that rewind button never mm -hmm. and that, that's not hating that's just you know that's just keeping it that's a buck an opinion yeah, yeah that's just your opinion that's yeah. what I hate that shit nowadays everybody well you're hating no motherfucker it's just my opinion <laughs> yeah I, it's, I mean you know I can't I can't make that. Sh I can't. I can't make myself like what I'm not really feeling. Like <laughs> if I ain't feeling it, I just ain't feeling it. It is not. It's not hate. It's just you know. Again, it, I, I give him credit for what it's due. Like you know, he he's good at what he does. He's good at delivering his shit. Like I said, I think he'll sound a whole lot better in music. I'll probably buy a record of his. But I, right. I just not. Uh, I just don't think he can survive in what battle rap is in 2014. I don't think he right. could survive in 2009. But you know, I'm just, that, that's just my opinion. <laughs> Man, I think yeah, you basically just summed it up. <laughs> you know, but Jesse loves Reed. Jesse loves Reed. That's, I mean, that's, and that's <laughs> yeah. cool because that's Jesse. That's his opinion. That's, and I yeah. dig that. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. I yeah. dig that. <laughs> let me say. You know what I'm saying? Let me let me say this though. Hey. I don't have a hating bone in my body. My, you know what I'm saying? That's a female trait. My grandma didn't raise me like that. So, you know, mm -hmm. may the best man win at the end of the night for all these battles. You just ask yeah, how true. you I just gave you. You know what I'm saying? I true. just hope we get some classics. I hope we get some good battles. Mm -hmm. I hope, you know, I hope the battle rap culture as a whole just keeps growing. I hope everybody, you know, goes out there and supports shit. Like, man, these folks, like, you know, let's not be... On the post, will, these folks take their time and effort to put, you know what I'm saying, what they put into these bars. So support oh, definitely. that shit. Definitely. We just judging what, who we think going to win and lose. Like, you know, probably everybody. Exactly. Like I said, I'm not I'm not the biggest Reed Dollar fan, but I am happy that he got this battle so people like Jesse can see their guy have a shot at proving right. that people like myself wrong. And, right. and and you know, give him a chance to see if he can survive up here. Like I was, I was, I was never one that said I didn't want to see Reed on the stage. I'm glad he actually got the shot. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, let me put that out there. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I want to see him get up on there and prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. You know what I'm saying? I'll be the first one again. I'll be the first one to jump in and say I was wrong. But I just don't think I am. But I'm glad he got right. a shot to, to do it. I'm not gonna lie to you. The only the only crazy dude out of Philly that I like really, really fuck with was Cisco. Mm. I mean, like, he had a few moments where he said some shit, but other than that, it was like, eh. That's just they yeah. seen as a whole. They just have a different way of rapping, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I feel what, you, I feel what you're saying. I feel what you're saying. But, again, that's just my opinion, man, you know, so. Yeah. All right, I hope everybody up. does well, though. Yeah, me too, me too. I do want to see some classics. The, the coaching needs it. No doubt. Real, Real talk. talk. All right. That, thanks for the call, Stack. Y'all be cool, man. Have a good evening. All right. You too. All right. Hey. Let's see. I got it. Let's see. 716, you there? Yo. Yeah, yep. what's good? Yo, what's good? I just had to get my recap in before y'all ended the show. I had to. I had to. All right. Yeah, we gonna, go ahead. We're going to try to get some more callers. Yes, yeah, so was Oh, he just just my fucking All right, let's go five oh four. You there? Yo. Yeah. Hello. Yo. Yeah. What's down, man? What's good, son? Oh no, I'm cooling, man. Let me. Why y'all keep shitting on Reed Dollars like that, bro? Hold up, before y'all say something, I want you to name me a bar from Hitman at Arsenal that came from Hitman. 
that came from Hitman in that, in that yeah. battle. I can't remember off the top of my head. So, with all the balls Arsenal spit, why you think they got more people saying read out? I mean, Hitman won. I don't get where you going with the. Um, um, well, my, my reference is is Reed Dallas. I mm. mean, I can name. The the point is that, like y'all say, in this industry, a battle rap it ain't all about balls, and it's obvious mm -hmm. that that format that Reed Dollar was still was doing still worked. If Reed doing it, uh, Rosenberg Raw doing it, even fucking Tech Nine do it, but he in a funny way. So I'm just saying how people can just like count what Reed did back then out, but it's doing by some of the people that's top today. Uh, um, I, I, you lost me. You said how can I, how can people count Reed out compared to what how, compared to? Look how, look, how can people count Reed out if they have people who like Reed, like Hitman, Rosenberg, and Tech mm -hmm. Nine, but he do it in a funny way. How can y'all count Reed out? Oh, you trying to say he's the same type of MC? You trying to say he's the same? Yeah. I mean, but yeah, I've heard Hitman. I've not heard Hitman say crazy shit before. Um, now Tech Nine is probably a better comparison because he's not really a lyrical dude, but he's he's a performer. And right. yeah, um, Tech Nine has had some good performances on the stage and showed out, especially in a big crowd. Um, I think Tech Nine is a. On, if you just count entertainment factor, I think Tech Nine is more entertaining. I think Reed Dollars is more aggressive and more, you know, probably I, I guess you dare I say more lyrical. Um, it's just, it's, I mean, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, how many people, call, how many people think Tech Nine is the craziest person in the world as far as bars? I mean, nobody he was crazy on top. about Tech look, Nine either. Look, what, look, when he was on top, you had really top tier dudes scared the bell of this man. They admitted mm -hmm. he was scared. Of it. Yeah, that's true. You feel me? That's after Summer Man, it's one. Yeah, yeah. Man, I mean, that was look, after, that was look, that was in the big room. People, was, people didn't really want to battle him in the big room, but you had some people that didn't want to battle him because they didn't think he was that good. But there was also some people who actually just didn't want to battle him because they did, they were scared that you know he was going to get up there and you know just still the crowd. Yeah, I dig that, but the main dudes who were scared of battle talking about because of not because of his star power or his you know stage presence was really top niggas who was saying, I'm not battling that. Yeah, I mean, Even young Ill said it. It's possible he, I mean, he, he get up on. there and steal the crowd and, and control it or whatever. I mean it's possible. It's po I don't I don't think I don't think it's gonna happen though because again, Tech Nine Tech Nine was able to Tech Nine had like two straight battles where he was able to do that. Reed yeah. Dollars at, 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 at Midwest Miles. After that, the crowd really kind of tired of it. And they, okay, uh, I, and I he, got one more. He, he didn't have the same grab on the crowd as he did when he had those. Well, he, he had that little streak with those, those two straight battles. Yeah, but I got another thing to say. Um, the balls when y'all when they say about the Rambo line. Okay, you say that was filler, right, Psycho? Mm-hmm. So what did you feel about Hitman Holler line when he's like Roger that, Roger that against Arsenal? Uh, that was filler, too. Okay, dig that. I did that. To me. But, I don't but know. But dig this. So... Look, when y'all were talking about Reed, when he said, man, who did he battle? Y'all have to remember, but this man was a nobody himself. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So it's not about who he battled. It's about fucking he still was a nobody. That's why I hate when people say, who official battle. Official was a nobody like everybody else. Yeah. So it don't matter who she battled. Yeah, but, she was a nobody but, coming up. But it, it actually does matter because, like, if he's battling somebody who who's not, like, come on, that dude, that dude right there, yeah, he battled in that Rambo um, line battle or whatever. I, I don't even know yeah. her name. Let's 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 keep it a stack, son. Let's trigger, keep it a stack. Trigger. Let's keep it a stack. Yeah, but look, but that's not the point. <laughs> trigger, the yeah, is, okay, look, that, yeah, trigger. Look, let's keep it a stack. The point is trying to make it. Yeah, the point. The is only reason you even remember this dude's name is because that's the dude that that Reed Dallas battled in the, in the, <laughs> with the Rambo line. Like this dude, like this dude would not. Oh, no, I don't. Look, I, 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 like let's let's I see. Know he couldn't come up in the, in the smallest league and and make noise. 
Like you, you put him in the smallest league, and, and you, and he wouldn't even be able to shine in that. Like, dude was trash. So let's just keep it a buck. I hate saying that about MCs, but let's just keep it a stack. Dude was trash. All right, and I got like, another one. He, he bodied a trash dude that would never make it, and wouldn't even sniff today's competition. So uh, I, it's hard for me to give him credit for doing what he probably was supposed to do, which was be the trash MC. Like, if he would, if if that if that if that battle was debatable, I would have really been popping shit about Reed. Like. Like, so, I dig that. But know, like, he the was day, supposed to win that battle. That dude was hard. At the more, end of the day, did you give Reed more credit for his nobody. young high performance? Did you give more credit for his young high performance? Not like that. Ooh. Not like that. No. No, actually, I didn't. That's not. When I think of Border Mook's best performances, that's or bottom of the list. That's 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 just that's slightly above Iron Solomon. Slightly. Above Iron Solomon, like I didn't know, no, I that's didn't. not the worst nigga. Murder Mook first, he faced though. That's not the worst nigga. The worst nigga was Weez. Now what the fuck, Murder Mook was doing? I, and and, and, and again, Weez. that's not one. Of, when I think of when I think of Mook, that's not the battle I think of. Like, but Mook, because Mook has stepped in front of co- thick competition before. Like, yeah, uh, who, who, who has Reed ever stepped in front of? Where's but Reed's party? Where's, where's that's Reed's that's party artists? Yeah, where's Reed's that's party artists? You can't, you can't that's find them. Where's, 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 where's Reed's J. Mills at? You can't find Reed's J. Mills. Listen you can't to find me. Reed. Listen to me, yo. But I'm saying that. If Reed got 600,000 views, I think that's what him and Trigger are by himself. What? Doesn't that speak for Reed? Doesn't it speak what is, for what Reed? Is that? Oh, that okay, not, that, okay that, all that tells me is a lot of people like Reed Dallas. That don't mean that don't that don't that don't mean he's he's dumb nice like that. A lot of people like a Vanilla nigga. Ice. I mean, what, what the fuck? He sold billions of fucking records. What's Vanilla Ice thing, doing right now? I mean, that, that's not telling me nobody. nothing. That don't well, mean Vanilla Ice is the best trigger. recording artist of all time. I mean, Reed Dallas has a fan base. I never denied that. Uh, he has a strong yeah. fan base. He, he he came up at the right time. He came up when Battle Rap was pretty obscure. It, uh, a lot of people didn't think it was a future in it. It was kind of like, you know, still... You know, in the hood, underground, DVDs type shit. You know, and you know, it, it, a lot of people didn't think it would be where it is today. Like, oh, motherfuckers would have been putting money into this a long time ago. And you know, he 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 got a chance to get recorded battling some garbage dude in a bodega, killing him, and 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 and, and he formed some kind of legend. You know, some kind of <laughs> all right. He, he became right. an urban oh, legend, oh, so oh, to speak. Oh, 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 and now and, oh, 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 and now he's got a chance to come back and. See, and show everybody if the legend is real or not. I don't think who, the legend is real. Slice, who did Kimbo Slice fight before he got signed to MMA? A bunch of bugs, a, right? A, a, exactly. And and look look at Kimbo's record when he got the MMA. The, like the legend, like you, the people wanted to see if the legend was real. The legend, the, I mean, he he beat up a bunch of dudes in the hood, but when he fight when he fought some professionals, he was getting his ass whooped. Like and and it, it, that's that's actually a good example, Jesse. <laughs> No, I mean, well, he beat up, he beat up, he beat up a bunch of people. Yeah, he knocked nigga. him out. Yeah, yeah. But when, he gets, when he went against a martial artist, yeah. Yeah, what, what happened, man? Call her? My bad. What I was saying, y'all <laughs> missing the point. What I was saying was, Reed, either way you won't put it, Reed Dollar still was a nobody when he battled those two dudes. I don't yeah. care how y'all want to put I'm, it. I'm not even going, but y'all, 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 you guys are focusing on popularity. I'm focusing on what actually happened in the battle. He wasn't saying But how he supposed to know that dude was wack, though? That's how you come it, up, battling niggas when you come. Okay, you all right. Who, that, that uh, nigga again, again so, so I'm supposed to give him credit for beating, beating up on a couple of well, garbage dudes. I'm supposed, to give him, I'm supposed to give him all this credit for that? I no, mean, I'm like, if that's, the case, it, I mean, if that's the case, then we got to give all these we got to give all these MCs credit for beating all these garbage motherfuckers they be battling in these small leagues. We got to give them all, all we got to give them full like blown cool. credit. We got to give them full credit. You can't put no like assets cool. on it like oh well that was just Joe Smo from this other league or oh, whatever. No, it was no, only no. like 12 I'm people not, there. Not like that. That. Who does that? Who does that? I'm not like no. People say yo they, they, people say Joe Smo people be like yo they should have done better against Joe yeah. Smo. That, they that, shouldn't be in the ring. And they criticize them. Yo, they should have killed this dude. That Let me ask this you this. Week. Let me ask you this. Is Rex Rex, if if his only motherfucking battle was Donnie Menace, is T-Rex Rex today? If that was his only battle? No. If Rex, no. No. But if, 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 if Rex's only battle was G-Soldier with the 25G line, with the 20G line, he's not Rex today neither, but he's more popular. 
Rex is Rex because of people. Will be, people will look at that battle like, who, like, like people will look at that battle like, who the fuck is this dude? He's battling and blah blah. They've been popping shit about motherfuckers battle. Actually, I thought Diamond Mendes didn't do too bad, but <laughs> I'm just using that battle example. That's the first thing popping my head. But yeah, like, yeah, I mean, man. like, I this dude, he, who did he? Who like... did he fought? Who did he battle that fought back? I mean, he gotta. You gotta get punched. You gotta get punched in order for me to see if you can actually. Fight. I mean, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, until you get punched balls? back, until you get punched back, you don't, motherfuckers don't even know if you can even actually fight. The Brown so, nigga had all he did ball. was just, he beat up on a bunch of motherfuckers who wasn't who who, who was swinging back but couldn't hit him because he because they right. had, because they like they, they didn't know how to fight. So he just so he, he just he, beat he, up he, on a bunch of people who didn't know how to fight. I, I want to see him in a fight Friday. with motherfuckers okay. who actually know how to fight. And this this oh, weekend yeah. he's going to be in the ring with somebody who actually knows how to fight. And now yes, we get to see what's going on. Yes, we will. Well, if, Reed, if Reed was smart, boy, he will talk about your boy who was to hang with John John because that nigga stole some styles from Reed. The I mean, you know, that's on, I don't know what Reed's going to do. I don't I, I don't know what Reed's going to do, to be honest with you. I'm not, I'll be, actually, if he went personal and started taking angles like that, I'll be surprised. I'll be surprised. Like, I don't yeah, know. I don't check out, do that. Check out I don't think he's going to go in there. I think Reed's going to go in there doing a lot of the same. That that he's known for doing. I think he's. I think he, I don't think he's going to switch it up too much. To be honest. So with you're you. saying that. So look, when he said I got 16 across the chest, across the chest like Staryakovich, that wasn't a ball back then, as it was, as it is now. Not like I said, for, for back then that was that was that was cool. For back then that was cool. 2014, that's not hot. If and he goes up there and says that this weekend, people are not going to go crazy about that shit. Like it, it, they just not. They just not going to go crazy about that. Like. It, it, for two, like I said, for 2014, that's not crazy. No, I'm not saying that's crazy now. What I'm saying is they still had people saying that after him. So I'm saying he still had balls. Maybe you, maybe well, you. Well, I mean, people were saying to hear it like that actually before him. People like that, that's not like even an original bar. Like people have been saying that since like shit, like shit, like I give yeah, you this number of uh, what across your chest, people. like the, whatever jersey number, or whatever. People have been saying that since like before Reed. <laughs> Believe it or not. Yeah, I yeah. know that, but I'm just saying he still had balls. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But yeah, man. But I mean, like I said, uh, but when he when he spit when he spit, that was decent for then. It was decent for then. I mean, I, I still don't think. I think if he would have battled like Mooka or somebody like that, or some of the uh, motherfuckers on the Smack DVD who'd have got his ass thrashed, if he'd have battled some of them back then, that's when he should have actually been doing all this. Cause then, so like, it, bro. Yes, I'm like, helping he should have he been battling Mook and Rex but, and Miles but, and X Factor. He was. And, Him and Rex and, was supposed to go them. down. And, 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 there, there was shit that happened that did it. He was supposed to battle Rex. He was supposed and to battle Rex would have killed him. And, and Rex would have killed said, him. I wish it would have happened. And, Rex would have killed him. And Lux said, and Lux said <laughs> no to it. He was supposed Rex to battle Lux. Him. Rex would have killed him. Right. Rex was better than him then. Rex was better than him back then. Look, you feel Rex killed? You feel Rex killed NH? What happened? Did you feel Rex kill NH? NH, who's NH? Rex in battle from back in the day. Did you oh, feel I don't, he killed I don't remember him? that battle. Oh, oh, I don't remember right. that battle. But I was say, he didn't kill NH, and I know Rigo harder than NH. I don't remember that yeah, battle. He yeah, he, yeah, that's a good point. That is a good point. I, think yeah, Rex was, I thought Rex was nicer than him back then. I, me, personally. I, think, I thought Rex was nicer than him back then. As far as my predictions, yo. I think I think Cortez gonna bring that Hitman Howler type one he had against Howler, but a more revamp type style. I think he's gonna cool. be in. Yeah, I think he'll be in real form. But as long as he try to be too over aggressive, where he losing his voice, trying to scream and shit, he gonna be good. And as far as Tay Rock and Ch Clips, I got Clips winning because of his veteranship. But I got T Rock showing his ass, which is gonna make him go be a really certified top tier. I got Reed Dollars against John John. Uh, mm. I got Gaddis over what's her name? Hustle. Hustle. Um, DNA Ill World, you pick that one? Oh, I got damn, that's just a hog right there. I won't say Ill Will if he don't fuck around and try to do what he did against T Rock, Ill Will gonna win. Fuck it, I'm going with Ill Will. Uh, mm -hmm. Who else they had? Did you say B Magic Big T? Uh, I got Big T. Oh, okay, um, that's what's up. Who else? I, th I think that was everybody, wasn't it? 
think that was everybody. All right, all right, all right. All right, man. To, I, I'm gonna try to squeeze right, in some man, more phone you. calls here. Thanks for thanks for the all call right. though, man. All right. No problem. All right, let's see. Let's go. Uh, three one three. You there? Yo. Yo, we good. Detroit. What's going on, man? First of all, man, I want to say that dot versus prep battle. I fuck with that battle. That shit was all tough. Right. That's what's up. My predict, my predictions, man. What's the first battle? Hustle got us, man. I think I think Hustle gonna push her around, cause it's mm-hmm. on URL. You ain't you ain't never seen got us on no street type of stage like that. She used to be. Yeah, I mean, more but she's been stage. on Queen of the Ring. She's been on Queen of the Ring. That's about as street as it can get as far as females go. But I mean, it ain't too really. It ain't really too many street. Street female battles over there. Yeah, they got they got some. They got some. Believe it or not, they they do got some. They they, they got them. Some of them chicks go hard, son. Some of those chicks go hard. It, yeah, some of them do. But I think I think hustle on that URL stage, especially coming off that jazz battle. Yeah. I think she, I think she's gonna get up there and talk that shit to her. Oh, okay. I got hustle two uh, one. Uh, who you got? Um, let's see. Let's go. Uh, Good Zaber. Uh, I think I got verb. I got verb two one. I All think right. I think good's gonna. I think good's gonna come with a lot of jokes. Cause every time you see every time you see good, she say something about a verb. It's a joke. You ain't never seen good's mm-hmm. really come that come at somebody with like bars or something. You can't really joke with a verb because a verb gonna come with that shit if you try to joke with him. Yeah, verb gonna have a couple of jokes himself. So yeah. I got verb to one on that. What's All right, let's see. Yep, my bad. Let's go. Um, DNA ill will. Um, I got ill will. I got ill will three zero easy. All right, I think, will, I think ill will. I think ill will gonna bully DNA because DNA never stood in front of nobody like ill will. Mhm. Yeah, that that Every seems time, to be the pop the popular opinion right now. Yeah. Because everybody being they stood in front of was was punchers and all they had was bars and shit. Ill Will got performance bars. Shit, he could freestyle too. Mm-hmm. And, he, and he got and he got performance. So that's not yeah. necessarily true. dna has been in the ring with some killers. Ill Will, Ill Will got he got the total package. It's just right. it's just about what DNA gonna do. I think DNA gonna try to do too much, too much freestyling. I think that's gonna fuck them up. Possibly, yeah. They both like to freestyle. It will freestyle too, so yeah. Yeah, but DNA DNA freestyle in a a lot in his battles. I think he gonna try that mm. too much because you know it will a freestyler. Yeah, they both gonna have some rebuttals. Expect some yeah. rebuttals that battle. Um, let's see. Uh, B Magic Big T. Uh, that's a tough battle right there, man. Yeah. That's. To me, that's a clash of styles because, you know, the Magic a consistent puncher. You never really see him throw no, no haymaker punches. But with yeah, Big he, he kind of jabs that. you to death. Yeah, but with Big T, he going he gonna to set you up with the jabs, and then he's going to hit you with a haymaker because we know Big mm-hmm. T known for hitting you, hitting you with hard-ass haymakers. Yeah. And is it, can be Magic stand in front of them haymakers? And, yeah. and Big T starting to step his performance up a little bit. Big T performance has always been a little bit underrated. Like he actually always was a decent performer. He, he you know, he presents his bars well. You know, he performs his bars well. Gives you good visuals. Like so, yeah. I, 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 yeah, that's a hard battle. That's a hard battle. You, who you said we're gonna win? I got, uh, man. I got Big T two one. All right. Let's see, um, Cortez, T-Rex. I got Rex 2-1 easy. I'm only giving Cortez a round because I'm not just going to count Cortez out like that. But I feel like everybody overhyping Cortez. Yeah, Cortez has been on a, I guess, on a tear against some people, but what has Cortez ever said? Like, what is some hard bars Cortez ever said? All he do is personal shit. When he come at people, he... He force all that wordplay shit and all this. All he do is say personal shit to me. Mm-hmm. And he 
battling Rex, I, I think he's going to try to get too personal with Rex. I think he's going to bring up the mad shit with Moog, the K-Shine battle, and the head ice shit. He going to try to get too personal with Rex. And Actually, the map shit with... The, the map shit with Moke would have been a good line to use if he didn't use it on the Tay Rock already. That actually I think, he gonna, I, I think that that would have been something that would have went over pretty good actually. I think he gonna try. I think he gonna bring it up again just in a different way. And I feel like Rex. I feel like Rex gonna come with some shit because Rex ain't battled in a minute either. And and mm. Rex, I, I know Rex see all these Cortez on his shit. People think Cortez gonna beat him. I think Rex gonna show up and have a performance of the night. It wouldn't be the first time he he snuck up in there and caught performance of the night. Rex is, Rex, Rex steals the crowd. Rex is really yeah, good at stealing the crowd. You got you got to look at it. Rex ain't battled in a minute. What was Rex's last battle? Was it Hitman? And that was a one rounder. I think Rex. I think Rex was on. That's a good question. What was Rex's last battle? Um, was it Hitman? Might have been. Um, I think Rex gonna come with some shit. Yeah. All right, let's go. Uh, Clips Tay Rock. Uh, to me, man, I actually I got I got Tay Rock two one clearly. Two one clearly. Yeah, Charlie Clips ain't never battled nobody who gonna get all up in his face and all the hands gestures at him and shit. He ain't never battled nobody that got in his face like well, that. Well, Arsenal. Arsenal. He did battle. Arsenal yeah, was but, all up in his face. But Arsenal, he ain't had no bars to go with the shit either. And you know how when T if Tay Rock hits you with a hard-ass punch, the crowd going crazy, he all up in his face, throwing his hat and all that shit? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, think, yeah. Tay Rock's crazy on stage. Yeah, and once Tay Rock... See, I think Tay Rock build off momentum. And once Tay Rock get that momentum, I think he going to... I think he's gonna fuck clips up. Alright. Let's see, let's uh let's see, let's go last one. Uh John John Reed Dallas. Um uh, I got Reed two one. Reed two I one? Like I can, yeah. All right. I feel like you can't everybody saying John John gonna win, but when was the last good battle John John actually had? Hmm. That he actually did uh -huh. good in. What was his last good battle? I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know. Off the top of my head, I don't know. You, you I don't go know. back to his, I want to go back to like his last, his last three battles. He battled T-Top. That wasn't really a good battle from John John, because John John used other people's schemes and shit we already heard. I ain't saying he stole the shit, but it's shit we already heard. Come with some new shit. Mm -hmm. I think, what was his battle before that? Math? Look at the math battle. I think that battle was a bad performance. And then after, before that was Kesha. Oh, no, no, no. He he had something in between the math battle. Yeah, I'm sure he battle. had something between um, math. But I I, could, I can't remember off the top of my head. The the Saurus, the Saurus was in the middle of that. Um, uh, the Saurus, Charlie Clips. But I agree with you that the the Clips battle wasn't wasn't good. Um, yeah, you see what I'm saying, like. If you if you think about it, John John's last battle was against last good battle was against Hitman to me. No, I, I, other than that, <laughs> I wouldn't go yeah, that far. That's, that's then, what yeah. <laughs> but oh. that's, that's how I'm looking at it. That's that's yeah, just that's, my that's opinion. Your I feel opinion. his last yeah. battle. I feel his last good consistent battle was against Hitman. Mm. Nah, yeah, yeah, everybody yeah, said John John, but John John not that. really a, a consistent battler. Yeah. Everybody got their opinion. I got Reed too. Yeah. I feel like everybody count Reed out and saying Reed can't, he can't come back with that shit. But you got to realize. You know what it is? It, it looks like everybody's counting Reed out. I, I bet you in the room is going to be more have a lot of supporters. than John He's going to have a lot of supporters there. Yeah, he's going to have a lot of supporters I, there, I, I'm sure. I bet you there's going to be more people in the room counting John John out than counting Reed out. I, I would put oh, money yeah. on that. I would put yeah, money you know, on Reed, that. You know Reed bringing the whole Philly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. I feel like Reed is going to sell a lot of tickets. Reed is going to sell a lot of tickets for Norm. You know, you got to you got to yeah. you got to look at it. Reed been in the mix in his battle shit. He been paying attention to how niggas got bars nowadays and shit because a lot of niggas been mentioning Reed name, and some people even use some of Reed bars he spit. I think Reed can make the transition because he been 
he been just sitting back paying close attention. He be at the events. He know he know what's going on and he know about the shit. So I think he been watching and he gonna come back and prove niggas wrong. All right. Yeah, that's what's up. We got we gotta try to take you some more callers. But yeah, th- um, thanks for the call. All right. Let's go. Let's not try to uh, go too much over time. Let's try to get the callers in the recap. Yeah, I'm trying to get some more callers in. Let's go. Um, eight one six. You there? Yo, what up, y'all? What up? What yeah, up, what's up? good, son? Hey, yo, psycho. You know you my brother, man. But uh, I, I just killed know. me. Yeah, don't speak <laughs> now. Get that nigga. <laughs> check, check me out, man. It's like it, it's not even you, but. Everybody that say and read, you know, man, I, I just don't understand. Like, you, you, you ask, where's Reed Dollars Party already? Where's Reed Dollars J Mill? You gonna see it this weekend? What's All right, right that's what's up. That's what's up. I want to. I, I want to. I want to be proved wrong. I, I would love to be proved wrong. I would love for this to come out to be the best battle of the night and Reed go crazy. I would love to be wrong on this. I'm right on. I'm, I'm, not to you. I'm rooting for no, no. Yeah, yeah. See, this is my thing. Like, you know, a lot of, like with John John too. It's like a lot of people are asleep on John John. You know, and I was one of the guys always defending him too. I just I kind of put John John in that same boat with Cortez, where it's like the fans at some point, like with Cortez, it kind of seemed like. After the Tay Rock battle, like everybody was saying how Tay Rock just took Cortez, you know what I'm saying? And people wasn't really fucking with him, you know, and I don't really know what happened with John John, but you know, the fans, man, a lot of them, man, they just casual fans. They just riding away, I would say. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Both of them got bars, you know what I'm saying? Like you said, I would hope it's a classic. But I just mm. feel like Reed, man, Reed, dude, man, like and then, and then also when you said like, so you saying back in the day when you was watching it, you wasn't rewinding those read bars, man. I mean, come on. Man. Nah, I wasn't. I promise you, I wasn't. I, pro- I, I was. I'm, you want back then? I was big. Believe it or not, I was big on. I was big on Miles. I was big. I, I, I like Rex. I like Mook, of course. I like Artie. I like. Uh, see, yeah, I was big on Jay Mills. I, I wasn't big on Reed. I just wasn't big on Reed like that, man. I really wasn't. Like he, he was just okay to me. He was just uh, he was just okay, dude. That better not run into the wrong dude, or he's gonna you know get his ass with. That, 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 that's how I always looked at it. Like you know, like it's a good thing he's battling this motherfucker because you know if he was battling some some of these other motherfuckers, he would get his ass kicked. That I always felt that way. Yeah, right. I know you got to take some more callers, so I'm going to just jump around real quick. You know, uh, mm-hmm. Gaddis versus Miss Hustle. Come on, man. Gaddis 3-0. I feel the way about Gaddis the way I feel about Reed. Like, I don't even see how this is even debatable. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, I, I guess I feel about Gaddis, I mean, uh, Miss Hustle, how you feel about Reed Dollars. Like, she just ain't never, ever, ever done it to me, man. Ever. Mm-hmm. That's she, she, you know what I mean? I'm not... I'm definitely not going to say she's whack. She's talented, but, you know, to, mm-hmm. to put Gaddis versus Miss Hustle, we talking about, like you said, back in the grind time days, when, when Gaddis mm-hmm. was battling dudes, I mean, you know, it, I guess it's just all about what type of battle rap you watch, how deep you've been in it, and plus we all got our own opinion. Yeah. But, uh, you know, Cortez and Rex, man, I feel like, I feel like Cortez is going to talk that shit, man. You know, mm-hmm. I feel like, you know, Rex is a legend. We all know about Rex. We can't take anything away from Rex. But, you know, I just feel like Rex has just kind of been on, like, you know, he, he's, like, above average consistently. You know what I'm saying? Like, to me, I, I can't remember the last Rex where it's just like, man, he was he was ripping shit. Like, you know how, you know, back in the Rex, Rex versus Verb, I didn't even think Rex killed Verb like that. Like, everybody was just making it out to be. I had you know what I'm saying, but I had a two one rut. Yeah. But uh yeah, Cortez man, we all seen what he's been doing for the past what year, year and a half. He's a beast. That's two one. We got uh Magic and Big T. You know, Jess, you wanna talk about Big T three oh. Come on, Jess. Come on, Cordy. 
Yes, and I know you saw Beat Magic versus Rum Nitty, and you have the audacity to say such a thing. <laughs> yep. I, yes, I do. That, that's He's just not a big Beat Magic fan, and every time I call him out on it, he 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 tries to act like I'm like he he don't like Beat Magic. He just he's just not a big Beat Magic fan. That's not true. You're not. You, okay. It is true. It is true, Jess. Okay. Stop it. And then I got the uh, archives. <laughs> you hate on Reed. I, I don't hate on on the match. I'm mean, aware close to that. I, I, I said, well, I mean, I've already said it, man. I mean, I'll at come clean. I'll at least come clean and say Reed ain't my preference. You try to sit up here and try to act like, you know, like, oh, well, I like magic. Well, Matt, Jesse, who yeah, you got to win this magic battle? I got magic, magic, magic losing three nothing. I, I mean, I'm already, I, I feel like <laughs> this, this ain't the first time. This ain't the first time, Jesse. This is the first time I, I would say, okay, you just like Big T better. But no, this, this ain't the first time. You do this a lot with magic. When, ma when magic I'm, and Tiller Jones, you, you, every time they battle somebody, you pick them losing three nothing. <laughs> every time. When, when else have I said that? You know, you said that about a lot of people. Some of them have an opinion that, you know, rappers are going to lose. The yeah, I mean, you know, to just come clean when you, when you don't, you know, if you ain't digging a dude, you know, just come clean. It's okay to say you don't, you ain't, he ain't your preference. It's okay. But I, I <laughs> think that is crazy. Hey, like I said, hey, I, 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 can I, I can I, yeah. Can I throw my other two in there, y'all? My bad, my bad. It's Yo, all good, go ahead. Good, good verse? No way, man. I, I, I don't like that matchup at all. I fuck with both MCs, but... You yeah, know what? I'm not know. big on the matchup neither, but I I love the way that they sold the fight, and they they made me interested in it. Yeah, man. That, I hope I hope, I hope that, that that jacket wasn't really. You know, we'll just leave it at that. But uh, <laughs> that was hysterical. That was hysterical. Yeah. That's that's crazy as shit, man. Yeah. But uh, we got what well, we got? One more? Okay, okay. We got Charlie Quist and Tay Rock. I'm going to tell y'all like this, man. I've been fucking with Tay Rock, you know, back when it was Tay Rock, Black A, you know, when they was outside, you know, that early URL, motherfuckers wasn't even fucking mm -hmm. with Tay Rock, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But what's going what's to happen this weekend? Tay Rock going to look at Charlie Quist's eyes on that stage. You're going to have a flashback. Damn, flashback. Mm -hmm. Quist going to spank you, man. 3-0, demolish, going to be ugly. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be, it's gonna be nasty. And then, you know, I'll end it with this: DNA versus Young Hill. To me, that's the low key. If they both bring their A game, you know, freestyles, rebuttals, bars, that could be the battle of the night. And I'll just leave could it be. there. Could be, could be. I ain't sleeping. Could be. All right, thanks for uh, the call. Yeah, yeah I know. Um, seven one eight wants to get on the line. Let's see. Let's go. Seven one eight. You there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's up, y'all? Yo, what's good, son? Over everybody. Clean paper, come in and beat yeah, everybody. Yeah, clean paper, three nothing. You gonna do your beat? Clean, clean on trap. I'm against just gyms. Woo! I'm gonna just take three battle paper against a battle against uh, just gyms. Yeah. yeah, I'm going, bro. You know I'm going, man. I'm going. When is it? Isn't that June 28th? Don't you have a battle that day? Yeah, bro. But um, you feel me, like. I could, I'll just go first in some shit and try to make it down there. I think my bro Hussein, he's battling on that card too, bro. So I'm going to try to support the 845 and shit. But, um, what is it, man? Hold on, let me, because I brought up the little list real quick. I'm about to run through these real quick for you. And I got, I got some angles too that I think niggas going to get. Like, the K-Rock versus Clips, I got Clips winning probably a clear 2-1. I would say, th I think the only 3-0 of the night, it's going to be Gaddis Hustle, and I think Gaddis is going to take that 3-0. That's my, that's my bold prediction of, of the, you feel me? I think that's yeah. going to be a clear 3-0. Like, Hustle against Jazz, she didn't really give me the the confidence that I needed to see from her in, on that URL stage. And I know she's going to try to make it up, but that mm -hmm. blood is already in the water. I think Gaddis is going to be comfortable as shit, you know what I mean? Because she got... Really nothing much to lose. Like, this is her shot right here. So, but mm -hmm. I, I'm giving that the Gaddis. Clips. I think, and see, the thing is, like, everybody I heard a couple callers saying it, like, Tay-Rock do got that energy. But the thing with niggas who rap aggressive, and I think it's the same way today they just dropped the, uh, the Dot versus the Prep battle. Like, mm -hmm. that I like, I like that. But I think when you're wild aggressive like that, if your opponent's smart, he could use it against you. Kind of mm -hmm. make a parody of it. I think Clips is smart enough 
funny enough and aggressive enough to kind of make it seem funny. I think he might he might take that. Oh, you yelling all your bars? Cause since I since I washed your ass, you feel me? You mad? You been you feel me? Like you been mad mm. looking for this? Like I think that's mm. the angle he gonna take. Yeah. Big T, B Magic. I got B Magic two one clearly. Like Big T just not giving me enough in these recent battles, man. Like he beat Bender to me, but it wasn't. Like it wasn't a big T that I, I wanna keep going back and go watch. Like It wasn't even old big, T. Yeah, like even even the big can and shit like like y'all said, like this is a hometown battle. You supposed to wax this man He's saying he the king and you not the real king, you ain't even doing this. And I feel like honestly, I feel like he might have edged Big Can at two one. I, I know I get heat for that shit and all that, but I feel like he might have edged it two one. But even if it just was because I wasn't really feeling all this shit Cannon was talking about. Like, I'm not from Chicago, you feel me? So I could give a fuck who's really the king about this shit. Wild mm -hmm. wise he did his thing. He choked in the first, but it's like, eh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I think D-Magic, even though niggas calling him that one-trick pony, all right, but then conceded, you feel me, do the same. Ty Law do the same. Like, there's lanes for that. Everybody don't got to be the same. Like, I don't want D-Magic to start doing schemes and shit. Like, he funny, he got his, you know what I mean? I, I think he coming with that. Mm -hmm. Cortez T-Rex. This the one, all right. See, I, I got T-Rex winning a possible, I want to say a possible 3-0. I got him winning 2-1. Because mm -hmm. I think, just like y'all said, I think Cortez is going to come with one round full of the personals, and that's going to be the round that he probably win. And I think for the first time. You think he's going to win that round? Yeah, but see, this is why, and and I feel like this is going to be the most important thing that nobody's talking about, the coin flip, because whoever goes first, that's going to be huge. T-Rex is a nigga that if he goes first and he put up his defense, like you about to talk about all this personal shit that ain't true, la, la, they want to hear them bars. He might deflate this shit, Cortez say, but if Cortez gets to go first, depending on what round he gives you, you feel me? He he could he could definitely maneuver that win. Like that personal round depends on when he gives it. The same with X Factor versus Guns. I don't think if he gave you all three personal rounds, it was still a three zero. I think if if he gave you one of them, you might have even gave him the first round. You know what I'm saying? But just because, then you start thinking back. You're like, ah, nah, man. I think the whole shit was whack. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just too much. It, it's like oversaturation. If a nigga rap for too long, you're like, nah, he lost. Even though you feel like he was bodying the nigga. But it's just too long. It drowns out. Like, I feel like Cortez going to win that personal round. But the rest of them, I think he'll probably give you one trying to show you that he's more lyrical. And he might, he'll probably prove he's more lyrical. But I feel like he's still going to lose that round, clearly. Which will probably be the third that he's going to try to go ham on. But that first round, I think that's the most important thing. Like, if Cortez won that first round, and he's not winning it with personals, then it gets not scary for Rex, but you feel me? That That's going to be the big part right there. Like, that coin flip, that's going to determine everything right there. What would you say, Jesse? You, you think, of course, 3-0, right? No, no, no. I got um, Rex 2-1. Um, no, nah, he's battling oh, Cortez. Maybe. You crazy? He's battling Cortez. No, nah, he he'll never say that. <laughs> he gonna give yeah, Cortez see, yeah, one round. That, yeah, I was gonna say that's the only reason you like say three O's because it's Cortez. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yep. Like, if it was okay, you know that uh, every other time Rex rapper, battle is three nothing. Three, it's three nothing. Yeah, or Cortez. Every, yep. <laughs> you, you already know. You already know. So, I actually man. have to think about this one. Yeah. I ain't even mad. Um, I'm gonna do the L L DNA. Actually, I'm gonna do this one. See, and the color before maybe not the fourth, maybe the second one before that. He say. DNA never been in front of a killer like that. But yeah, but when he, he battled, battled with that statement. Yeah, yeah, when he battled T Rex, not for nothing, T Rex was a killer. Like everybody thought he was about to get bullied and fucked up, and that's a, that's the one that DNA surprised everybody in and won. You know what I mean? Like that's mm -hmm. one of them that niggas look at Rex like, oh shit, he lost the DNA. So with Ill Will, I feel like it, and with him trying to go back to more of the old DNA, that's. I, I don't want to doubt Ill Will, and that's probably the only one that I'm going to leave. I don't know. I really don't know. Like, I, I don't want to well, doubt DNA. Yo, do a coin toss. Do a coin toss. If, if, yeah, if, it's gonna, if, if I had to choose, I'm going to rock with Ill Will, and 
but I wouldn't be mad if, if you feel me if I was wrong. Because against Chilla gotcha. Jones, I thought Chilla was going to wash him. And then he won against Tech Nine. I thought Tech Nine was going to wash him. And Tech Nine was in that mode where he couldn't lose. I thought he was going to wash him. Yeah, yeah. Like every, Everybody, mm-hmm. everybody yeah, that I you, do count you know, you DNA on the game, he wins. People don't give credit DNA for that win. I mean, it was a bad battle, no doubt. But um, DNA was the only person that was willing to take Tech Nine. Like the other, like a uh, caller before said, people were saying, "Nah, they wouldn't take Tech." I'm not, I'm yeah, not down in front for crowd. You know, word, yo, he take he take everybody, and and people say clips, clips take the young niggas too. But where he just took Prez. Everybody's like, oh, he beat Ty Law? Word? Oh, you like Prez? I bet I got him. Like, yo, you, you yeah, he a young nigga too. That's why he he a young nigga. So he won everybody. He won everybody. You got to respect it. And everybody that I do tell him out against, he always proved me wrong. So, again, here, I feel like it will be the 3-0 favorite. You know, like, he what he did to Magic and, you know, like, ah, man. But, word, that, I, that's, if I had to choose, I'm going to say it will. Um, that's one, and I chose this one last because this hits home for me, man. Like, Philly, you know, like, coming up, a lot of us old smack lovers and shit, you know what I mean? That that Philly versus New York rivalry, like niggas said, that was so talked about. Niggas wanted, niggas even wanted the, the Mook versus Cassidy's, and, and niggas wanted the Reed versus Mooks, and, you know what I'm saying? So Reed... You know what I'm saying? He represents a lot right now. Like, it's not like old Solo coming back. You feel me? Like, that would have been cool if he came back and he did good against Wave. It would have been dope. But it, it's not so much with that. Reed Dallas represents, you know what I mean, like to Philly and all of that, to what Lux did coming back. You know what I'm saying? So, like, if he, mm-hmm. John John, see, John John, he loses pretty much no matter what. If he wins, they're going to say, oh, well, he should have won. He, he was versing Reed Dollars, and he was yeah. home. Like, if yeah, he loses, good... they're going to say, yo, he was whack anyway. Like, he did, if he would have versed Chuck, <laughs> he would have lost. You feel me? Yeah, like, he's not. Yeah, that's a true statement. The John John Reed, does have, like, a tough like sword, yeah. Word. Reed, if he wins, niggas going to say, oh, he won against John yeah. John. Yeah, like, John if he John versed really... Chuck, he lost. John Word. John don't really have a ton to gain right here because Word. yeah exactly because if he if he wins like let's say Reed does bad and he wins like you said like he's not gonna get no props for that and, and if he loses Word. they're gonna say yo Reed came back and stomped you like, like so, exactly so exactly he, and I got he, and I got him no doing the multiple choice Word. and I got him doing the multiple choice in the battle I know he gonna give niggas a multiple choice yo I know it like. I know it, yo. I can it, feel you know, this it shit. It wouldn't like bother that. me, but it would bother. It, 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 it he would catch heat over it, though. It, it don't know, matter. I, I don't count but, because I'm in the minority. So like, he's going to catch heat over that shit if he does. Yeah, do but it. see him. His, he already the bad guy. He already kind of embraces that. I feel like if he does, like, that's like you say, he got nothing to gain anyway. Like, if he wins, it's like, yo, you won against Reed Dollars, so what? Like, and, and you know, it's crazy. This is what I was going to bring up, Justin. Philly Swain was on this show a few months ago, probably, and he, yeah. he said that. Recently, there was the uh, Ty Law versus Rain Man battle. And, you know what I mean, a lot of the people, I didn't see, I wasn't there. A lot of people, they saying Rain Man won, but it was a Philly bias. Now, Philly, they want to hear a flow with your shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Enes, he, he came to New York, and he didn't give us the Enes we was even looking for. So, mm-hmm. Philly, I feel like they can with the flow. He, he going to stay in the fight. Like niggas say, we not a lyrical nigga. He's not going to give you, like you say, I'll I, I give it filler. i give him the Rambo Live filler over, yeah. you feel know I me? Mean? And how he yeah. delivered it made it maybe more, all right, well, it wasn't filler because, you know what I'm saying? But it was, you know what I mean? Word, it, it, it's filler. It's a mixtape. Yeah, it, it, sound, it sounded good when he said it, but at the end of the day, if somebody else said it, you wouldn't be impressed because they wouldn't Word. even said it. it. It was more Word. how he said it than what he actually said. Yeah, and you know what I mean? Like, and that gritty flow, it definitely stands a chance against John John who going to come with lyrics. You know what I'm saying? Like, that style clash, it, he has a lot in his favor. Like, he, that freestyle he put out uh, against uh, Sue Surf, that shit was trash. Like, I heard that and my heart was broken. Like, I, I was like, oh, God, I hope he wasn't coming with those bars. And he spoke on that when he came on the radio show and shit. He spoke on that. But, yep, you know I mean? Yeah. He got a lot on his back, man. He he was trying to take that pay cut to get all the Philly niggas on the card. It didn't work out. Now he coming to New York. Like, I, 
I don't think we coming to play with niggas. Like I, I think it's gonna be quiet in that building. But if if he loses, I mean, like honestly, niggas need to really like think. What does that mean? Like, do we not want to see no more old heads rap? Like, do they? You know what I'm saying, like, what what happens from here? Like, what really happens from here? Don't hate on the battle when y'all watch this. If Reed lose, he lose. But just be realistic with what happens. Like, y'all expectations and shit, man. Like, word, nigga can't come back and fly like Mook said. He not going to come back and pull out the real strap on stage. Like, yeah, nigga, like, he not going to do some crazy shit. Like, expect, yeah. expect Reed to do Reed. Expect John John to do John John. Who you like is who you like, man. But word, if niggas want to, like I said last year, if niggas want to keep the culture going, niggas just got to be a little bit more realistic, man. Like, mm-hmm. nah, bro. But word, man, those, those my predictions and shit. I'll get another thing. Right, I'm bro. looking at this. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, we're, we're a little over. You, you trying to end this thing or? Um, we got a few more. Let's just let's, let's, let's try. They've been waiting for a while. Let's go uh, 301, you there? Yo, yo, my nigga 40. Oh, it was good. Call this nigga in the building. Oh, what's good, my nigga? How are oh, you? Oh, shit. Nah, man, I'm, I'm not talking to this dude no more. Next <laughs> caller. <laughs> <laughs> chill, bro. Chill, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm going I'm to see you this weekend. We're going to chop it up, man. <laughs> nah, man. I got I got no words for this. This dude just leaves somebody flat. No words. Uh, I'll leave you, you flat, man. We're going to talk about that, man. You can't ask me for a battle rap on Memorial Day weekend, man. <laughs> no, 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 yo, yo, before that, man, freaking before that, I was like, yo, well, I was like, yo, I'm hitting him off of something, I don't know, I didn't, this dude just, like, changed his number or something, disappeared off the nah, face of the earth. I told you my <laughs> shit was fucked up, and then I got, I told you I got to do all that, you know what I'm saying, hospital shit and all that appointment yeah. shit. Yeah, I, 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 I just, I, I, I got to take care of that shit. No, I already know, I already know. We oh, we gotta know. hear y'all. We gotta hear your your your, your opinions, man. What's your prediction? I um we'll start with the hustle goddess. Um, I say hustle. I say hustle. You already know it. Um, was that some of madness? She did good. I think goddess. Her last queen of the ring. I go with goddess. I think she brings a little bit more to the stage than what hustle can do. Um, mm. the John John Reed. Um. I'm just going to go take us down to the experience on the stage. And one thing that nobody talked about yet is Reed hasn't been on a big stage like this. And you know it's a whole different ball game with, with your lyrics, which you got to bring with your lyrics to get the crowd excited. Like, he can be aggressive, mm-hmm. but he, if he's not saying anything that's entertaining or doing anything entertaining, he will get booed, unfortunately. I don't want yeah. him to get booed, but... You already know how the crowd is. It, it don't take but so mm-hmm. much. If you're not entertaining, to start getting booed. And John John, he already had a big battle with Hitman. So I think his experience. So I go with John John. Mm-hmm. Um, Rex Cortez. Man, to be honest, man, I did not like Rex at Summer Madness 3, so I'm going with Cortez. Um, what else we got? The DNA Ill Will. I talk to ill will at the ufs so i know the implications on this win and you know what i'm saying we can set him up next for summer madness so i'm gonna go with mm-hmm. ill will um who else is left uh oh d magic and big t yo 40 you gotta stop it man you gotta stop it <laughs> uh, come on man come on we could do some more bets i'm, I'm not betting you already owe, 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 i'm already i'm already up like 60 dollars you owe so we can we can <laughs> yeah, we'll, 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 we gotta put it on the tab put it on my but, tab but, <laughs> but there's no I'm, way I'm, 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 bet, I'm, real. Three, I'm not betting 3 victory but I'll, I'll bet big t for that win but I, but I'm saying, what has Big T showed you his last four battles to show that he's still this elite guy that you that, say that's he is? Why, that's why I really feel he's hungry for that. I've talked to him yes, after but, the Deep Magic but let's battle. Go back, I know how disappointed he was in himself. But let's go back a year, a year earlier to this day. The same thing was said at Gnome 3 for Big T. Oh, Big T coming back. We haven't seen him for so long. He about no, to no, kill. No, no. He got on stage and said one hot bar. <laughs> no, he had one hot bar. He won that battle last or not? Big T's last classic. Big T's last classic. He only won the battle because K. Shawn wasn't that good. Big T's last classic. I mean, think about it. 
Big T's last classic yeah. battle, but classic performance, yeah. I should say, was against Charlie Clips. Let's just say, let's he just say, off if, the, you could have put anybody instead of K-Shine in front of Big T that night. It probably would have won. Big T didn't say nothing crazy other than the bunny is line. And that came his first round in the was first hot. round. Yeah, his first round was hot. His first round was and hot. And that was it. He got booed. Let's not forget he got booed for all the talk. Oh, Big T, he's been out for a year. He's about to come back with all these bars. He had one bar out of nine minutes of rap. In his last four battles, he probably only had two good bars. So I don't understand where this Big T hype coming from. No, he had, he had a crazy bar. Not good. He, he had, what, he had, what crazy he had bar? two bars in there. The what crazy what bar good bar? Was, um, the piece behind the head. The who? The bunny ears. The, the bar you talking about? The bunny ears. Yeah, that was, I mean, it, it, it hit hard, but come on, that's not the hardest bar you ever heard in your life to be sitting out for a whole year. Let's not forget, the whole talk was Big T about to come back with all these bars because he sat out for a year, and he had one bar, and he got booed. What? He did get booed, but he won the crowd back. He got booed and cheered in the same round. Mm, he did, but he didn't win it back because he said anything crazy. It's just K-Shine really wasn't that good that night. He really was off that night. Yeah, he was, he was, he was bad. K-Shine was bad. He was that off night. that night. That was the worst. Oh, and, and 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 I predicted Big T to win that one also when a lot of people were saying K shot. You did. I mean, you won it by default. I don't know if you're too happy about that. If you want to be happy about default win, but I give you a moral <laughs> victory. I give you a moral victory. <laughs> I give uh, you that. Who else we got? We got. Uh, yeah. Did you say Good, good Aver? Oh yeah, Good Aver. Uh, I was like 40 in the beginning. At first, I ain't really cared too much about the battle, but the little blogs kind of make me more excited to see it. Um, yeah, I know a lot of people were saying that. It. Would you have said? Nah, they did a good job of selling it. Yeah, they definitely did. I know. I know the talks are saying like, "Oh, New York ain't gonna give Aver a chance," but I remember I had known three once again. He got booed when he got on stage, but when he started kicking some hot shit, the whole crowd started cheering. So if he comes with hot shit, he gonna get cheered. If he comes with that, you know what I'm saying? He want to be a villain in in this New York, then obviously he gonna get booed. So I mean, if he come with hot shit, I I say he'll win because I I mean he's just a better battle rapper to me than Good is. Yeah. All right. And the, what? Uh, did you did you say uh you say um da, da, da. all right Charlie Let's says say hey, rock, rock. Miss, right. Oh, and Tay Rock Clips. Oh, man, this is going to be a, a great battle because we, we already know the backstory. Um, I know Clips is ready talking about the gnome, the gnome warm-up, and nobody has heard from Tay Rock in a minute, so I know he's ready. And in the building, both of them dudes is great in the building. So I don't, man, I don't know. If Tay Rock could come with three rounds like he did um, with Ill Will, with that Steel Will and all that, he might could win it in the building because, like you said before, we don't know what Clips is going to show up. Even when Clips is good, he still finds a way to stumble and say psych out loud and stuff like that. And if Tay Rock comes <laughs> not, I think I think niggas are tired of that already. I, if he does a psych out loud, I think I think this he, he, he fuck might around might get booed. Get booed. Yeah, he might. Yeah, get that's booed. why I agree he with might Jesse. even get booed. Yeah. I agree with Jesse. If he does that, I, he he fuck around and get booed because I think the crowd is tired of it. It's, yeah, uh, yeah. That's one. They're gonna look at it like he getting some prepared. The first thing they're gonna say is he wasn't prepared, and they're gonna start. They're gonna start getting on him. Mhm. I, I give him one thing though. He he finds a way to, to to try to fool the people that he didn't choke. I give him that. But like you said on that big stage, I don't think nobody gonna give him no pass this time. Yeah. He can't be stumbling around because Tay Rock. You don't. I mean, we never seen him choke or stumble. And if you Judging it, and this dude, and, and Tay Rock has a flawless performance, and Clips is stumbling around a little bit. Then I, I mean, the you people gonna edge the Tay Rock. Rock. Yeah, yeah, people gonna edge the Tay Rock exactly. And real quick, I listened to y'all uh, show the other day when y'all had ARP. And for the, you, um, brought up the question about the whole um, uh, Smack. You know, Smack said, um, you know, other leagues are still in his rappers, and I know ARP said that sounds stupid. But to be honest with you. They kind of are because KOTD and none of these other leagues booked Big K before he had a PG battle. 
Nobody booked B Magic, even though they was already on the lower tier platform. I mean, not lower tier platforms, other platforms they came from before they got to the URL. But these dudes wasn't getting booked until they got on the URL stage, had a little notoriety, and then they start getting booked. So I think that's what more smack might be saying than actually like niggas are just taking you know battle rappers like nah, he's putting these dudes out to get a name. And then y'all guys are just coming and taking these guys, and they're having good battles, and it makes y'all company look better. And then you know how everybody's so fickle. You know, oh, URL falling off. These are your trash. But, like, half the battle is just coming from this platform, URL platform. So, I don't know. That shit be kind of yeah. stupid to me. Yeah. No, well, yeah, no, I mean, you know, I understand Smack side. I understand somebody like the K side. You know what I'm saying? So, it's, you know. It, it's, mm. it's, I don't. I don't think it's a situation where there's a, a wrong or a right. I think there's just two sides to the story. I mean, yeah, you know, yeah. I, I was talking about Mel A R P than Big K. Actually, I just used Big K as an example. Cause yeah, he was using Big K as example, but yeah, he was the oh, one that was yeah. saying that kind. Of, that but, sounds kind of stupid. Yeah. I I I, yeah, I definitely you know, understand was, both sides K of the story because like. like you know, URL feels like you know, like we're the we're the ones who spent all the time marketing this, marketing these people, getting their name out there, actually giving them a giving them a name so they so so they was able to get booked to other places or whatever. So you know, it's like you know, URL does spend more time than any other league developing talent. So and I feel smack like, why well, am I going to do all the work? Then you guys are just taking my talent. That I built up and making your company look good, and then niggas are turn around and shitting on my company because yeah. you guys had a good battle using my using my dudes. I mean, think about it. What's the last King of the Dot battle that had two of their battlers that was good? The biggest battle yeah. was probably Past and Disaster, and nobody even talks about that battle no more. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 You're right. And and then you know to like for the artist side though, it's kind of like, well, damn man, like you know the pro like when. The reason why I said Big K is because Big K was, like, on the show kind of saying, you know, if if, if they want to sign a contract, more power to them, I wouldn't do it. And, you know, you for instance, like, you're smacking, you're filming Mook versus Lux in the freaking sneaker store, and then 10 years later, they're, they're battling in front of M on a whole nother league. It's like, damn. But, you know, well, like, Big K's whole point, too, was kind of like, you know, yeah, I built my profile, it, you know, but I, with my profile, I should be able to go to other places and battle. So, you know, it's, like I said, I don't think it's a situation where there's a right or wrong more than two sides to the story. True. I mean, I said, I'm, not, I'm not opposed to anybody go making their money, but it's just like you can't, you can't, you can't get mad at Smack trying to do what he's trying to do when, Dudes is making a name and building great battles off of the dudes they build it up. Right, I mean, right. You know what I mean? That doesn't make no sense to me. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they high, some of the highest, most of the highest viewed battlers are, are the ones with URL MCs in it. Like, but, like, but, yeah. but you'll get crucified if you'd be like, oh, that's a URL rapper. Like, it, it is. That's where, his, that's where his popularity and brand was built up at. Mm-hmm. But 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 B, let me ask you this too though: is, is 2014 PG class does it compete with other classes? Like you know, you had to warm up, so the, I assume the DNA beat Prez even worse in the room, right? Because that's what I saw from all the tweets and in person. Yeah, in, in the room, it was, in the room, it was a clear it was a clear win for DNA. Like it, it, it like you could just see the the class of of the experience and with you know Prez, you could see it. Yeah. So the 2014 PG class, uh, do they compete with the 2013 and 2012 class? Um, your well, well, we got to see um, Sunday because you know there's still another one more crop to come in Sunday. Um, but so far, um, they, they got some good dudes. Excel is good. You know what I'm saying? He can match up with a lot of dudes from the, the 2013. The dude prep was good. Um, who else was for 2014? Um, uh, well, I think that was it so far until we see um, come Sunday. And and Adi Boom, yo, uh, like him or hate him? I I like Boom. I see both sides of what you know. What I'm saying what people say when he reach and don't reach. I, I just think right now it's a wave of people saying he reached, so everybody's just piling on. Cause this, you know, what I'm saying two two minutes ago everybody was feeling him. 
but he might have, he might have kind of did it to himself, but he took so many battles. So after a while, you give people enough time to start critiquing every little thing you do. And I think he's going through that stage right now where they critique every little thing that he do. And he needs, he needs, uh, I'm not going to say a big name, but he needs a good name battle to kind of, you know what I'm saying, just get the momentum back on his side right now. Because on Facebook, all you hear is, oh, he's the King Reach. They call him Jack Reacher, all types of craziness. Mm. <laughs> so, yeah. you know what I mean? I don't know. All right. I don't know. But good looking, I'm yeah. talking man. I'm definitely going to see y'all on Saturday. 40, you smoking? I'm, I'm there. Let's go then. I got a blunt just for you. Oh, shit. You oh, shit. That must be magic sauce. Oh, and I know why. And I know why. I actually, I, you said I'm smoking. I don't know. Smoke, but, that, but means there, John John, that means that means John John won three nothing. If he smokes, John <laughs> John won three nothing. <laughs> nah, nah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. If, I don't, I don't know if I'm smoking, but I'm there. I'm there. I'm betting. Yeah, I'm you betting. got to. Last time you smoked, you understood every last bar Chiller was spitting. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you had you had me on cloud nine. Yeah, yo. the funny thing is before before you smoked that blunt. See, Magic had spit uh, like a little regular major league bar, and you was totally lost. But then when you smoke <laughs> first chiller, you got every last thing. I'm like, oh, this guy's crazy, man. Yeah, it's not, he was like, yo, chiller, dope nice, yo. I was like, yo, this is the best. He was like, this is the best I ever saw, chiller. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, I didn't know chiller was this nice. I'm like, what? <laughs> I, I, I missed yo, what you said at first. I, I, I didn't know that you said I'm smoking. I don't know about that. I, I don't think so. So, we'll, we'll yeah, now you don't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to come out there and say read lost. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I, I didn't hear him say I'm smoking at first. I, if I'm smoking. Um, I, but I'm there, though. I'm in the building. All right, all right, all right. I'll holler at y'all there. All right, that's what's up. Thanks for the call, Zach. All right. Yeah, I really didn't. We didn't even get off, man. I, I done missed the yeah, first man, quarter. Did, I've yeah, been yeah, watching yeah. periodically, but I can't hear shit. So, yeah, let, let me watch the rest of this game. Uh, thanks to all the, everybody for listening and calling in and, you know, giving everybody predictions. Known for this weekend, Saturday, Manhattan, check the flyers, check the trailers, you know what I'm saying? And, yeah, we're we'll, we, we going to check you all out next week, Tuesday, Thursday. Actually, um, no, we, you want to do a – no, you want to do a Monday show? Monday, today? Monday recap. Yeah, let's do a Monday okay, recap. Okay, Jesse wants, to do, Jesse wants to do a show on Monday. So we're going to do a show on Monday – yeah, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. Check us out next week. Thanks again for listening. We out. Bye.